Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful, active day this was. We hopped all day long. <laughs> oh, are you ready for one more? Thank you. Uh, I missed a little bit of Lori because I was running around here setting things up. Let me get over into my own live stream here. Oh. Okie dokie. There we are. Let's say hello to folks. Oh, Stephanie's here. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Maria. Hi, Debbie. Welcome, everybody. We're a little early. Uh, in fact, we're about seven minutes early. I have to tell you, you guys, you hop from one hop to another. I, I'm going, I need a break. <laughs> Uh, I need a five minute break to get a, a a glass of tea, a cup of tea, or go to the ladies room, or um, let's move Penelope. I like to light my candle. I like a holiday candle. I love a holiday candle. I burnt my other one. It burnt out on me this evening, and it still had a little wax in the bottom, and I, I cleaned it all out except for a little in here. But if you put this in the freezer, this stuff will come out or even microwave this. Because this is a glass jar, this will microwave. So, and then I'll have a little glass jar with a lid here someplace for art. So we're just going to set that aside. And tonight I am going to work on altering boxes. My brother smokes. I, I'm not even going to attempt to break him of his 70-year habit. Um, he does what he does. He wouldn't listen to me if I told him to stop. And I have gotten started doing these mainly because I was watching Aunt Beck. I was watching Aunt Beck and she made the ATC boxes. And I grabbed a cigarette box and sort of altering it. Now, ATCs will not fit in this size because he's got... Um, he smokes Marlboro 100s, which are a little wider. There is a smaller box of just plain Marlboro, Marlboros, but he doesn't like those. <laughs> he buys these when he can. And so what we did here is we did pump cards. And if you watch Aunt Beck, <laughs> she gets you hook on these, hooked on these pump cards. So this is the last one that I made for myself. But these are really easy to do. Now, if you don't have cigarette boxes, which may be a good thing, try a little Crayola box. Uh, these are cheap. You can get them, you know, for at the dollar store for a dollar. <laughs> the little this, this is a 16 pack, but you can get them for eight packs and that. So I'm going to take out my Crayolas here and. Uh, yeah, take them out this way. A Crayola box would be fun. And the first thing you want to do is paint them. Paint them out. So let's move all my Crayolas. I'll tear the wrappers off of those and put them in my Crayola box. So you know where they're going. They're going on my <laughs> computer desk on the other side that needs to be cleaned off. Uh, I'm not sure I can find a spot. So, let's pull out a sheet here and and uh, some wax paper maybe. I I want to paint these out, and while they're drying, I'm going to carve an eraser, and I'm going to talk about what I'm going to put in the Crayola box. I don't think my erasers will fit in here. Good. I'm going to do something different with this and this, and we're going to give one of them away. I'll probably give you your choice if you win which one you want. So, it's very easy to paint these out. Oh, what a fun hop we did. I so enjoyed Kathy Arbor. She said... Uh, she was talking about making cuffs, and I've got this leopard blouse. I washed it, and it's just a little too small for me. Let me cut this off while I'm talking about it. I loved her idea 
of taking the cuff off of a shirt or a blouse and look you have an automatic you have an automatic cuff here i think i can get my hand in here so i might i might take a stitch or two and well yeah i might ruffle this up a little but i'm going to do that <laughs> i grabbed this blouse and i might even wear this with it cut off who knows oh look it's got a button here it's got a Ooh, that could be cool. Let's cut this off. It's got one of those where you roll up this. Maybe that's why the sleeves. I've got awfully long arms. I'm going to cut this little band off here, too, for that. Now, I'll probably be on here a little bit later than half an hour because once I get streaming, you know me when I go into my... <sighs> go into my... Zone... I'm going to go ahead and just paint these out really, really fast and easy to do this. And you can use gesso. I don't buy gesso. I have some that I think I brought home from Wisconsin with me. And even if you don't get a, a really thick layer on it, uh, I'm going to collage napkins on these. So it will, you just need a, a base. So I, I think I'll open this lid up here and collage the lid. And yeah, you'll get a little messy while you do this. That's just, that's the rule. <laughs> that is the rule. And let me maybe dry this off. We'll heat gun it and give it a a little more of a coat here. So welcome to everybody who's come in and thank you to all the the folks who did live streams. I had a laugh at Laura. She says, I don't know why Mary asked me to join this hop. And I'm going, because we love you, Laura. <laughs> uh, and she did cards. She was painting she said, this is the card that didn't get done, but, but we got the idea. And she showed these, she showed these cards made with flash cards that you could give to a teacher. I thought, what a great idea. And how simple it would be if you're not a crafter to go get a card base or make a card base, fold a piece of, of um, Card stock in half and put a flash card on it and write a note of thank you. I am using a dollar store white paint here, so it is pretty thin. So I'm going to give this more than one coat. Actually, I don't have to have this Crayola box according to what I'm going to do. It does not have to be thoroughly gessoed because I'm going to put fabric on this one. And, but I'm just gessoing it out to show you what I usually do. And it, it's kind of, I'm going to drop that and go work on this one. Because I'm going to put fabric on this one. We'll, we'll work on that. Let's do the Marlboro one. And actually, I think if I can get to it fast enough here. Uh, urge. Let's do my apple barrel paint. I think it's a little bit more. Let's just take this and put over here. It, the apple barrel paint, I think it's a little bit more opaque. If I can get it to come out. Oh, what do I have here? A plug? Mary, don't you clean your paint off? You know, I, I, I try to, but I, I get at times. I'm one of those messy crafters. There it comes. A little stream of it coming out there. Ooh, there it is. So you don't have to be a, a neat crafter. You can just. That's why I put wax paper down. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun just to get in there and. Swish that old paint around. I'm going to be collaging over this. So I'm not worried about a 
you know, a really nice little paint girly. Paint girly does such a beautiful job on her light bulbs. Wasn't that fun to watch? Uh, I was I was watching, but I was also setting up here while I was getting my at least getting my stuff out on the table. <laughs> ah, let's hit this with the heat gun. So, what a fun hop we had this evening. We kicked it off with um, Kathy Arbor did those wristbands. So cute. And she painted little snowmen and she stamped on uh, snippets that she could put on her wristband. And what I really like, uh, and I've seen this used by, well, in fact, I... I went to a, um, I guess it was a flea market type thing in, was it Oconomowoc, Wisconsin? No, it wasn't Oconomowoc, it was further north. Uh, can't remember the city now. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've been up that way uh, in Wisconsin. And they had artists out on the, for the, it's, it was sort of like a street there. And they had artists out there painting the different historic buildings in that town. And I was watching one artist paint. She had her easel set up, but she had a, a wristband fabric. And she would wipe her paintbrush off on that wristband fabric. And Kathy Arbor suggested doing that. So I think that would be fun to do. Yeah, this can be messy. But it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to collage with a napkin over this. I just want to get somewhat of a of a white base on this. Look, I put my heat gun on my paintbrush. <laughs> I'm so good. I didn't say that I was a perfect artist. I am just have fun like the rest of you do. And uh, Shelly did those jewelry pieces out of uh, pop cans and papers. She, she did some punching, punched earrings, I think. Look, I put it right. Honestly, Mary, what are you doing? Slow down. So I plop it down in my paint again. Let me get a paper towel out and wipe, wipe a little of that off of. This is how my paint gun gets so messy. <laughs> You wonder how? Well, this is how. You get your fingers all painty, and then you pick up your heat gun to dry your piece and <laughs> throw your heat gun down on the glob of paint that you have. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I'm, I'm going to do two of them, and then I'm going to have a giveaway, and you can pick which one you want. I threw my paintbrush down. Where did I move it? <laughs> All right. Let's just set this aside. Let Mary take a breath. And I'm not worried about this. I'll find my paintbrush when I set something down and on it. What did I do with that paintbrush? I got my palette knives. I got my pen. Isn't that something, how I can do something silly like that? Here's my heat gun. I don't know what I did with it. I threw, I threw it back in the water. All right, I'm just going to set these aside. This one is not gessoed too good, but it's painted enough that I'm going to cover it with fabric. I just wanted to get the Crayola off. And this one I'm going to collage a napkin on. And in fact, here, I'll show you the napkin I'm going to. I want it to be Christmassy. So look, I have three of these napkins left, and I love them. I love them. They're unicorns, and I was laughing about the unicorn in Laura's stream. <laughs> Another unicorn, and he will fit. He will fit on the back of this. And I've got two. I've got two of these, so I'm not sure if I'll put one on the front, but we'll get to that later. So that's where I'm going with that. But let me set this aside and let it dry and what i'm going to do while that's drying 
I have been doing Carved November. Let me wash my hands off just a little. I've been doing Carved November this month because I know I will not have time in December. <laughs> I'm doing so much. I just, I, I tell you, I have a talent for stepping in it and over committing. That's my talent. If you want to ask what my talent is, I just get so enthused. So I was sitting here kind of thinking of what I wanted to do. I tried to draw a unicorn on my eraser, and I'm using these high polymer erasers. Let me stop and look at chat. Let me stop and look at chat, because you guys, you guys need to be welcomed. <laughs> I get going on this stuff, and I gotta move this out of the way. Let me say hello to folks. All right, let's see what's going on. Now, I don't need my earbuds anymore. Let's turn the sound way down. Take the earbuds out. I had the earbuds in while I was setting up my other stream because... I needed to to listen on my tablet here. Okay, Stephanie's here. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie says, "Oh, what a great idea, Mary! I have so many carving blocks that I gave away. A book of full, bucket full of carved stamps. I need to make more again." Yes, you do, Stephanie, and I'll bet you could do a great job. I do not. I do not get into the streams to watch as much as I'd like to. There is so much going on. There is so much going on that, <laughs> you you know, I just wish I had 20 lifetimes so I could watch everything. Hi, Suze. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Angie. Arlene is here. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Deborah Brown. <laughs> Deborah says... My honey, Mike is going to lose his mind when he sees me alter our cigarette packs. You know what, Deborah? <laughs> My brother smokes. He, he doesn't smoke a pack a day. I ask him, and he says he says he goes through a pack every couple days. But I think he smokes too much. But you know, he's he's seventy two. He's not going to change his ways unless he wants to. But uh, he's not going to listen to me. But he throws his empty cigarette pack in, in a paper sack uh, in the trash can that we have out in the back porch. He, always, he doesn't smoke in the house. He goes out on the back porch. Or on, in the summer, he'll go out on the front porch. The back porch is, is, in, the back porch is enclosed. It's where we have a washer and dryer and stuff. And uh, he'll throw his empty cigarette packs in there. And while he's not looking, I go and I, I, I get them out. And then I take them and, and I, you know, that uh, pan, that metal steel pan that I did all my walnut dyeing in? Well, it's cleaned out now. And I've been throwing all those empty cigarette packs in that. And uh, I think he wonders what's happening to all his empty cigarette packs. I haven't showed him what I've been doing with them. <laughs> but if you don't have a cigarette pack, a little Crayola box will work fine. Or, I, I don't have the link to it, but Aunt Beck, and on one of her, I'll put the link in after the stream. Um, Aunt Beck did a video on, you know, on her channel of an ATC box. And I actually made that ATC box. These little cigarette boxes that I'm using will not hold ATCs. They're not big enough, but they'll hold an eraser really fine. Mary, you put your paintbrush to your right. Yeah, I I put it in the I put it in my water over here. Thank goodness I didn't put it in my tea because I could have very easily have put that in my tea. I get distracted when I'm streaming. I'm really not this adult, I don't think. But when I'm streaming and I'm trying to think of all these things, you know, and talk to you guys, and and I'll set something down, and you know, well, you know how it goes. Let's see, who else is here? Donna's here, Arlene is here, Peggy, hi Peggy. Uh, Aunt Beck is here. Aunt Beck, that wreath was just gorgeous. We all love it. Um, oh, Becky said it's been wonderful, but she's falling off to sleep. It's been a long day for us. Okay, Aunt Beck and Scott went back to 
they're they're on the move again. They're moving back to their house from the cottage house, and they went and she watched streams this morning, and then her and Scott went up to to Greenville, which I think is about a hundred mile drive for them, and loaded up and brought another load down to their house. So she has to be tired. That would just the drive would tire me out. So I understand, Becky. I understand how hard it is to move. And Shelly was talking about moving. Shelly's, I don't know, I, I didn't catch whether Shelly's going through a permanent move or a temporary move. But uh, she's, she was asking in her stream tonight, she was asking, what would you take with you if you had to move? And if you could only take a few things. And I just, I did, I was in that position when I came back to Nebraska from Wisconsin because I only had space in my car. And of course, I have a minivan, so I I packed it up good. I th Of course, I had to take clothes. And, uh, you know, you have to take clothes. I didn't want to buy all new clothes. And I wasn't sure when I came back where I was going to live. I, I At that point, I hadn't talked to my brother yet. So I brought some bath towels and washcloths and sheets and stuff. You know, things that you need. No dishes or anything. But I figured I'd need some, <laughs> need some linens. And uh, I did bring, I think I bought... I brought back with me six boxes and they sat in this craft room. And if you watched my stream yesterday morning early, my six boxes, <laughs> they grew. I have boxes in here that, you know, over the last five years, those six boxes have just multiplied. And, uh, but I left a lot of my crafting stuff in storage in Wisconsin. So I have to get that back down here, but. That's for another day. So who else is here? Holly. Holly is not feeling that good. So Holly, if you need to leave, I, I understand. I understand. Uh, let's see. Who else is here? Journey's here. Hi, Journey and Lala. Hi, Larla. And Debbie Epps. Debbie Epps said goodnight all. So she might not be here. Uh, but you'll want to catch her channel, too. She said, I saw in the other stream, somebody asked if she was going to stream this week, and she said she was going to try to. Lizzie is here. Yeah, all of you are getting pretty tired. Lizzie says, I am really, really want to watch Mary, but I'm really, really tired. So she's going to have to go. But here's the thing. There's a replay. There's a replay. I don't mind if you guys have to go to bed. I, you know, don't don't apologize because I have to tell you, I slept all afternoon. I wanted to watch Barb Owens, but my eyes were not staying open. <laughs> my eyes were not staying open, so I understand perfectly. So, yeah, yeah. Mary will put us on the trash can and get into the zone. <laughs> And hard her art out. Art her heart out. Yes. Yes, I will. Yeah, that's going to make a really fun cuff. That that leopard blouse is going to make a fun cuff. So, what I want to do, I'm going to put you guys over here on the trash. I'm going to plug you back in, though, because if I don't keep you plugged in, my tablet here loses juice. And I, see that, that, in, that menu pops up. You have to be careful when you're using a tablet or phone because um, that menu will pop up and you can bump your phone and put somebody in timeout. And you don't mean to. You don't mean to. <laughs> but YouTube does not have a confirmation message on that menu. I tested it out. So what I want to do is carve an eraser. And I've been doing this all of November. I'm behind, of course. Um, but I've got what? Am I, do I have 10 of them carved? I'm tr I'm shooting for 30. But I usually do my carving in the morning streams. I'm going to make it a simple one. And these are Pentel high polymer erasers. They measure um, about an inch across and uh, um, two and a half inches tall and a half inch wide, which makes it really nice. So I'm going to do a simple, um, I did, let me show it to you, over here, not my leaves, not my butterflies, here, I did some Christmas tree branches with lights, and I'm going to do something similar, I don't know if I'll put the branches, I might put the branches on like that, 
and I wanted to put some candy canes on there. I did not, I put leaves on this, but I may adjust that. And you probably cannot see this until I zoom in. So let me zoom in. Hold it. Put my palette knives over here where I know they are. Let me zoom in. And this part gets a little crazy because sometimes in my end screen and sometimes my head gets in the way. I'm sorry, but I have to see. So I'm just going to sketch this out. And let me grab a ruler here. And what I've do, been doing for November, I call these dangles. Because I've been dangling them down my page. I did a kite, a chain, a long bead. These are butterflies. I did cameos. Uh, I'm zoomed in. I did cameos and coffee cups and birds and Christmas. And over here I did buttons. Which I did these in a hurry. I'm not sure about those. So, let's see. Let's go back over here and here and here. Now, let me see where I am here. Uh, maybe a little, little bit more. So, you guys can see me sketch and carve. Sorry for the ride. I'm just doing this stream on my phone. So, <laughs> it is what it is what it is. If we ever get our stimulus checks, I'm going to... I'm going to stimulate the economy and go to Best Buy and get me a new laptop. I think I've worn my laptop out. My laptop was from Ann Lar, and uh, I really do think it might be the network card now because we've tried everything and I'm still buffering. I've got a, a brand new ethernet cord. We've had high speed internet put in. And I've tried everything, and I still buffer. So until until we get our stimulus checks, <laughs> I'm going to be using my mobile phone. So what I want to do here, forgive my painty hands, I want to do, um, I'm just going to do a, a sort of a, a loopy thread going down here. And I'm going to draw it on. I just draw it, I'm to the, I've carved so much, I'm to the point to where I can just draw right on the eraser. I kind of sketch out an idea here. And I want little Christmas bulbs on here. So I'm going to put those in first. I want some little Christmas bulbs. And I want them to be hollow. So that if you stamp this and want to paint your bulbs like I did over on my other design, you can paint right in that hollow spot. So let's put maybe three or four, maybe three, because I want to put some candy canes on here too. And this might need a little different shape like that. And maybe one coming, well, maybe my one coming right in here, maybe like that. And this needs more of a, and now I want to put a couple candy canes on here. I want to hang one off of here. And it will hang this way. And maybe one hanging right here, a smaller one hanging in here. And remember, this is going to be carved out. And I'll have a couple stripes there. Some stripes here. Now, when I dangle this, you know, I've only got two candy canes here. But when I dangle it, it, it becomes more. So let's put some of those tree branches in because they're pretty easy to do. I had holly leaves here, but I think the tree branches will actually be easier. And they make a really nice background. So I'm just kind of sketching these in. Let's put one over here. And then when I carve it out, I'll probably shape it to however I want it. Now, let's do another one here. And so, this is a half inch here and a half inch here. And I do that so I know I may not put that one in there because it's got to meet up here. So, I may not put that in. Um, 
I, I want this part to match this part. So at this point, let me get this off and let's put a, let's put a white paper down here while I'm carving. So my background will not. Here, let's just use this. Oh, did you watch Ann Lar? Did you watch Ann Lar? She did those wallets. Oh, I better get a paper. Hold on a minute. Let's grab a paper. Uh, she did those wallets. So creative, Ann. You did a really good job on that. And Beth Schuler felted pumpkins. All right, let me check and see if I'm in street in frame. I think I am. And when I carve, when I carve, I um, use the back of a archival ink because they have a little tray in here, and my my eraser fits right in there. And I start out with the larger V V as in Victor blade, and I bevel the edges which means I kind of go at a 45 degree angle. And that's so that the sharp edges of the eraser will not print. On some of them, it's important. On others, you know, you have so much negative space that you carve it away anyway. But I always, when I start carving my erasers, that's how I start out. Or how I, if, I, <laughs> if I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Sometimes I miss it. But usually I do. I usually start out beveling the edges here. And this should not take a long time to carve. Then I go in and you can use the smaller. This is a number one V as in Victor blade. These are um, speedball linoleum cutters. When you buy them, you get a, a usually a red handle with a set of five blades. You get two V blades. You get a scoop blade. I think you get two scoop blades, and then you get a knife blade. Um, I I put my blades. You you can buy extra handles, and I use. I bought two extra handles. I bought the blue and the green. The red came in the kit, and this is this. I always keep this size blade in the red handle. In the blue handle, I keep the larger V blade. And then in the green handle, I keep the scoop blade. The scoop just kind of like a, a, a spoon. You know, you just kind of scoop out all this negative space. But I'm going to go ahead. And the next thing you do, or I do, is detail. And I am going to use my... I, it depends on what you're carving. Uh... Sometimes it works better to use your smaller v, v, as in Victor, blade when you are detailing around here. You're just kind of marking your shapes in there. But when you have simpler, easier, larger shapes, the, the larger V blade works just fine, in my opinion. Depends on how talented you are, how comfortable you are with carving. But let's just carve. And let me tell you, there are some really good car eraser carvers, not eraser, carvers in our group. I would love to see what Stephanie does. There are some really good, I think Fran Baker Fran on the Edge from England has done some good carts, some nice carving. And was it Kathy Whitney, if I remember right? Uh, there's some, there's some really good, talented carving folks out there. I do it on these erasers because I love how these erasers, I love how they all carve out. Uh, it, it's, I just say it's like cutting through butter to cut through these. So I'm just kind of detailing my, let's see, how do I want to do this here? I, I need a candy cane shape in here. So, and notice when I cut these curves, I turn the eraser. I don't try to, just like when you're fussy cutting, I don't try to turn my blade. I turn the entire eraser. And I like this little tray for that purpose, but sometimes this paper gets a little in the way too. 
Now, let's see, what did I do there? Right here, maybe. And then I want to carve around this bulb. I hope this comes out like I envision it, because I'm going to put this in one of the boxes that... And let's just shake this stuff off. Let's see if I'm still in frame. Yeah, I am. I am zoomed in because I want you guys to see how... I want you to see what I'm carving here. I'm going to take out some of this negative space in here. And I'm just taking out... There's not a whole lot of negative space. I'm just taking out all this... And I said I thought I was going to take out this bottom part in here. I think I will because it will not match up here unless I read, would redraw it and may match it up and everything. And I don't want to, for tonight, I don't want to fool with all that. All right, now I'm going to go in and detail these tree branches. And all I'm doing is cutting, cutting uh, marks in here. And uh, let me get in here and see what I'm going in here, cutting out the candy cane portion in here. Hopefully I got it. And there's a bulb right in here. There. And I've got another tree branch coming up in, in there. And I'm just going to cut. You can do that with the smaller blade. Uh, it helps if you take a pen, a felt pen. And if you want to see, sometimes it's kind of hard to see where you're carving. But if you just mark, now I know that that's going to be my light bulb there. And I know this is going to be my tree branch here. You see that tree branch is starting to peek out. But if I do this, I can see what I what I need to detail yet. And, yeah, I need some work on that. I wanted to take, and I want this, I want the light bulb to be hollow. Let me get this part out of here. Out there. And I want this little light bulb. This is a light bulb here. And I have to sometimes get my nose up to this, which makes it, you guys get the back of my head. <laughs> Sometimes when I carve them, they go, you have pretty white hair, Mary. <laughs> so I want that. Oh, I goofed it. Well, fiddlesticks. That isn't what I wanted. I goofed that bulb. I'm really tempted to start over. That is not what I wanted. I blew it. I'm going to draw this again fast. This should not take this long to do. And it's okay to make mistakes. I'll keep this one for myself. I want to make one for a giveaway. And I, I, want, a, I want a nice one. And I know Crystal. Crystal K is waiting for her antique Santa Claus. And I promised I'd send it after the election. So I want to get that ready to go this weekend. I, I have been kind of wary about sending these erasers through the mail. Um, uh, Mina's, Mina's went bye-bye. Now, oh. All right. You guys saw the process. So I'm just going to go hurry and redraw this without explaining everything. So that we can get this done. And I'm, I will probably go longer than a half an hour. But if you guys who have been hopping all day long... If you're tired and need to go to bed, Mary understands. <laughs> Mary understands. So don't feel like you need to apologize or anything like that. All right, let's do it like that. And let's make this, let's hang a candy cane here. Let's hang a candy cane there. And bring this down a little bit more. Maybe a little longer. And let's put a bulb. I think I made that bulb too small. 
and that's where I nicked it out there. Let's put a bulb there. Let's put another bulb hanging off here. Like that. And let's put a let's put a uh, candy cane there, I guess. No, it's not gonna fit in there. Hmm. Let's put some tree branches in here. Like this. Yeah, maybe that other candy cane will fit here. Make it a little smaller. Like that. And put another tree branch in here. And a tree branch here. Just kind of hanging off of the... Now I'm going to have trouble with this if I'm not careful. And let's... Let's bring this tree branch out a little bit more. I want it to be nice. Uh, let's have a branch maybe coming that way a little if I can. I'm not sure about that. All right, let me let me see if I can do a better job on this one. And I'm just going to hurry and go through this without talking a lot because I want to catch up to myself here. You'll make mistakes when you do art. Don't just be patient with yourself. If you have to start over, you have to start over. I'll use that other one for myself. <laughs> I'll keep it for me. All right, I think that's good enough for here now. Let's let's detail this before I do my bulbs first. I messed up on the bulb. So I'm cutting around the edge of the bulb like that. Now I want to come in and I'm going to I'm going to color it in so you guys can see. Here's the bulb right here. Now, I want to, and where I messed up was I cut the edge off, and I just want to, I want to carve out the center so that if you want to color it, you can. It's kind of hard to do without getting your head in the way. That's pretty good. All right, let's go do the other one. And I'm going to carve around in here. That didn't come out. Am I in frame? I hope I'm in frame. out. Let me check. Yeah, I think I am. Now, let's color this in so that I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes if I color it in, I can see the shape of it and everything better. Now, see, this should be, this should stamp out pretty good here. I might have to pick a little out of the center yet. see a little mark in there. Come on, come out of there. Oh, you're being stubborn. There. All right, let's shape this one up a little. It looks like a... <laughs> a mango is what I was thinking. Now, we want to carve out the center. Now, 
And sometimes I'm kind of in a hurry here, but if you take your time when you're doing this, you can come out with some pretty nice things. All right, now let's detail the branch over here. And let's put some lines in there. some marks and I still want to dig with that little blade and that little blade is not one to dig out stuff with you need a stronger blade all righty now let's get my scoop blade let's see did I want no I don't think I do let's Let's scoop this out in here. Negative space. There's not a lot of negative space on this stamp. And the scoop blade gets a little big at times. Let's scoop this out. Maybe scoop in here. Let's do the candy cane. If and I can. I'm just going to make it kind of hanging on that thread, hopefully. right in here and you'll see this better once I darken it you could darken it all and then carve it out but that's kind of hard too Let me scoop this out Where I went there. Okay, let's let's darken this. I know I have to carve more of it out. See where I'm going in here. Now this is a tree branch in here. So let's make a line coming down there like that. And let's just give it some branches. And let me color that in so you can see it. I might have to trim that up a little. Now there's a branch. I haven't done that candy cane down there yet. I'm not sure I'm happy with this yet. 
I might end up carving another one off flying to where I can get my nose up to it. I got the concept down, but I'm not sure I'm happy with how it's turning out. But we shall see in the end. Sometimes it surprises me. If I can get more little branchy things in here. Now, I have a tree branch there. I have this. I have a tree branch coming in here. I have another candy cane. I'm not sure I'm happy with my candy canes. We'll see how they print out. Let's put some stripes on them. make a mark. Let's make a mark in there. Now there's another candy cane coming down here and he comes like this. He's not quite as big. So let's see if I can carve him out. I think I'll carve it this way. Like that. And let's get rid of this. And we've got a dangle coming down this way. And I have sort of a tree branch coming in like that. Well, I'm not sure how that's going to print out. If I don't like it, I'll cut it away. Let's, let's put it in there. And well, let's put some stripes in this guy. I'm almost done here. Let's take my pen and color this out. Oh, I can see I'm going to have to put a line in there. Okay. I'm going to scoop this out here. I'm not sure I like that line there.
And this is supposed to be another branch, but we'll see how it prints out. I'm wondering if I put stripes on that line. It's so prominent there. I think I'm going to put stripes on it. Like that. And do that a little up in here. Let's see how it prints out. Let me get all this off. Let me look at chat. <laughs> I go into my zone when I do this stuff. Let me see what's going on in chat. Of course, I'm way behind here. I'm lagging with myself. No, oh, it's not too bad. I got my hand in the way. I'm sorry. Hi, Ann, Candy, Peggy. Janice, hi Janice. Thank you all for sticking with me. I'm, I'm going to print this out. I'm not sure I'm completely happy with this. If I'm not totally happy with it, I'll, I'll carve another one. I'll keep carving it until I get it to, to how I like it. Let's go ahead and stamp this out and see how it looks. I got the concept, but I'm not sure I'm happy with what's going on here. Look, I've got a, a dark area there. I need to make a tree branch in here. I want to, I want this to be a tree, tree, Christmas tree branch. And I'm not sure I'm totally loving this. I wanted to give it away, but if it's not giveawayable, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna I'll do another one, one that looks good. Sit here tomorrow and carve it. I don't like how this I don't like this part up in here. It doesn't look like a tree branch to me. But let's go ahead and stamp it out. And, uh, I, I will, uh, see, I, I don't like this spot here. It does, it's not working for me. If it doesn't work for you, keep working at it till it works for you. Start over. It's how you learn. It's not a bad stamp. It's just nothing that I want to give away. But I will put a stamp in there, and it will be similar to this. I'm not going to spend all night on this because I want to move on. Let's stamp this out. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate this. I don't like this up in here. It doesn't look Christmassy to me. And I don't like this right in here. Let's give it some... Yeah, I'm not there yet. I'm just not there. It needs more lines. It needs to look like an evergreen tree. All right, let's stamp it and see what what's going on here. Of course, sometimes I'll do this stuff. I'll I'll sit and carve and I'll hate it, and then I'll walk away and I'll come back and I'm going, oh, it's not that bad after all. Well, it needs a little work. This is what you do when you carve. You stamp it out. I like the concept of of the candy canes. But see, it needs work in here. It needs work in there. 
Needs work there. Needs work in there. I'll probably recarve this for tomorrow. Let me zoom out just a little. Uh, I'll recarve it before I put it in the box. Let me zoom out. Let's dangle this because I do want to move on. What? Did somebody give me a super chat? Wait a minute. Did I miss a super chat? Hold it. Let me look. Who did that? Flip. Thank you, Janice, for taking care of the <laughs> the trolls. Who did that? Lucia. Hey, you know what? Psst, I have something to tell you. My candle blew out. Um, guess who has a birthday coming up? It's our it's our Lucia, our very own Lucia. I wonder if this is going to, uh, I wonder if this candle is going to give me trouble. Looks like it's, looks like it's, it's burning, but it's, there we go. It needed a little help. A dollar candle. I got this candle at the grocery store. It's, it's drowning in its own wax. Well, you would think it would be better. All right. Thank you so much, Lucia. You are so generous. And Lucia has a birthday coming up. Let's see what's going on in chat. Jenna said it was a kid. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I... I I rely on my mods to take care of the background stuff, and I appreciate that. Deborah says, I was taught how to make linoleum carving in grade school. When I first saw Mary carving erasers, it looked like so much fun that I bought the supplies. Now I'm, I'm relearning, and I'll bet you're doing beautiful work. And if you're not doing beautiful work, like here, I'm not totally happy with how this came out. I'll recarve it. I'll recarve it again for tomorrow. I'll recarve it till I get it to the point to where I like it. Um, I got the concept down. I got candy canes and light bulbs, but I'm not sure I like the placement of the leaves. But I'm not going to spend all night on this because I want to move on. I don't want to keep you guys till 3 o'clock in the morning. It looks like a Florida palm tree. It does kind of look like a Florida. I guess Florida palm trees can have lights. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm happy with the the leaves, but I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to move on, and I will I will recarve it until I'm happy with it. Let's put another paper behind that. But you get the idea. And the more you dangle it, the more you dangle it. You know, it, it, it really takes on its own. It really, it, they're cool. Let's start down here. And you could even, you could even make it not look a, like a Florida tree. Here, let's pull out another piece of paper. Let's play with this. Let's, let's put it here. Let's put it like this. And no Florida trees for Mary. Let's just make a Christmas tree. And now of course I'm I'm not doing the greatest stamping job here, but you get the idea. And you could mask off some of this. You just play with doing different things. Now let's bring that up again. Maybe up to there. 
now it looks like a it's beginning to look something like a tree <laughs> Got a, just like our trees, there's always a gap in it someplace. Let's see if I can fill that in a little. And of course, I went. I went way off the page there. Let's bring it down. And you can just keep playing with it. So there's my tree. <laughs> that would be an art journal tree. Let's go ahead and finish my dango. And I sh should probably ink it up this way because I'm not getting a good ink job done on it. Now I see this as being very rectangular in here. I think that if I would have left the tree limbs out, it probably would have come better. And the one, I'm going to recarve this. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one as an example. But I probably will not use this one for the giveaway. I'll do a better one for the giveaway. So I want you guys, I'm not going to give away something I'm not proud of. Well, I might sometime. But see, you can dangle these. And if, especially if you're into art journaling and, you know, doing all sorts of playing with your stamps. Or you could just make a plain border. I'm going to stamp an example here. So I will put one something like this in the box. But I want to move on and do the box. Let's do the box. And let me wash my hands off. Every time I use a stamp, I get the, the, I, my fingers feel so inky. I wash them off with some hand sanitizer here. I kind of like the tree. This would be fun on an art journal page. Smoosh some red on there. Let's see. Let's move on. And let me reach over here for my boxes that I painted. I'm going to reach for this one first. We're going to collage on this. I have to laugh at myself. I get stuff out and I don't know what happens to it. In three feet of space sometimes. All right, so let's hope that this goes better than my stamp did. I want to collage. This is, now I painted this box closed, but I will be cutting it on the, on the crease lines here when I get done, when I finish up here. But what I want to do is I got these Unicorn Christmas napkins. Find the other one. Come on, I had two of them. I was going to use the rose ones, but um, here it is. 
Suze gifted me these beautiful rose ones, but I decided to use the fabric instead. But we're going to do this one first. Now, this does not have to be perfect, you know, because this is all going to be collaged down. And I, I really wish this were a, a four-corner print, but it's not. It's not. So my goal is to get this napkin on that box as nice as possible. And I want the back of the box. And this this is the front. And this is the back. So I want it something right in there. Ooh, there's some pretty roses there. And it, I think that unicorn will just fit on there. Let's cut it out the square. And I fold my napkin up like this, and so that I just have one shortcut to do. It's a lot easier than trying to cut six inches and then fold it the other way. Do a snip here. I tried to do a unicorn on the eraser, and the erasers are just not large enough to get a pretty unicorn. Are you guys in? Yeah, I'm in frame. So I want this box, this unicorn, to go on this box right in here. Right in here. And I think he'll fit pretty good. And I'll I'll be able to have some of the some of it flip over to the sides if I pull him this way a little. Right there. And I'll probably have to come back over on this side. And we can pull it down a little so I can save this red. Yeah. So let's cut the red. And I am just going to cut it like this. Let's cut this red part off. And I'll probably use it on the sides or the top and bottom. I don't have to be as careful here because this will all get all covered up. There, I'll save that. Okay. So he's going to go on here. I want to save his horn. His hoofs will come over to the sides just a little. So let's get out my glue and put my carving tools over here where I know where they are my scissors away and I don't care if I have white paint on here because well I do care a little because I don't want it to get on that green let's wash my brush out let's use a different brush to glue with We'll use this brush to glue with. <laughs> I don't want the white paint to get on my green napkin. So let's just collage him down. And I'm just using school glue with a little bit of water in it. And I'm just going to collage him down on the base here. Let's make sure I get him where I want him. You get a little play, but not much. Oops, he's up too high. I want his horn to show. There.
collage them down gently, especially on the outside here. And it's, yeah, there'll be some wrinkles. That's typical of napkin collage, but that's okay. Yeah, let's collage in here. And let's collage this other side, which just leaves a little. But we have, we're going to be doing the other side, so we'll draw it over here and cover up that white line that's going to be left here. It won't be white when I'm done. All righty. Yeah. bit more glue on the side here. All right, let's give that a dry. And it dries pretty fast. It dries enough to work with it. Now I'm going to try to put a unicorn on the front. We'll see how it goes. I might end up painting it out. The front will be, have to be, the top flap will have to be cut open. And I've gone way over a half an hour. So if you're here for a hop, for the hop, thank you guys for hopping with us today. I really appreciated everybody who streamed. These gals, they put in a lot of work on their streams. I have to laugh at some of them because they say, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then they come up with these beautiful, fantastic projects. that, When they say, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm, I just don't believe them anymore you guys are so talented out there uh, let's try that i'm gonna let this side dry a little and while it is drying before i do the other side i'm gonna get a get a little of the top while that's drying i'm gonna set it aside and i'm gonna reach for the Crayola box, which is sort of gessoed. <laughs> but that doesn't matter as much because I'm going to cover this. Hopefully, I've never done this before with fabric. And it's not going to be a Christmas theme. It's just going to be. And I thought what I would do is cover it with fabric and then put a swatch of this fabric in the, on the inside. Because. I don't know if my racers would fit in there like a, what I want. And I think a swatch of fabric would be fun in there. So I folded up my fabric. Lucia McGill style. Thank you, Lucia, for the super chat. You guys are so good to me. You are so good to me. There's no paint on my table, is there? So let's cut off a good hunk of this. Well, let's... I got all these measure things here. Let's get my ruler out and see how much I want to cut. I think I bought two yards of this. I got it at Hobby Lobby. What if I cut it along this green line? That's about 12 inches. I'll cut it on this side of the green line. And... I 
Uh, I don't want to do it that way. Let's. Uh. No, I don't want to spill my glue. Almost had a craft lunch here. Let's wipe off the. Let's put the lid on this temporary. Now, when I put this on, I might use yes paste instead of. I'm going to move this glue over here for, for now. And I'm working on a very small desk. So you guys are going to have to be kind of patient with me while I cut this. And I think I said here. 0 to 12. Yeah, right there. So. And it may not be cut on the same on the other side. But on this side, I'm going to cut along this green line. And like I said, please be patient with me because... I just have very limited space. <laughs> oh, well, that was the wrong green line. Now you have 10 inches. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> We'll give you a two inch. I know I'll take and cut this off too and make some washi tape and put in there. So we won't cheat you your two inches. But also what I want to do, let me just finish cutting this. And this swatch will go inside of the Crayola box, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be pretty thick. You're going to have a pretty thick Crayola box, but we'll see how it works. I'll make it work somehow. And then what I want to do is cut this and make some washi tape what i might do is put the washi tape in the box and wrap after i get the box done and covered in everything when i package it up to send it i'll wrap it in that other fabric that's what i'll do i'm going to give you a good a good couple feet of this And I'm using the scissors that Suze gifted me. And she also gifted me some erasers this month. Suze, <laughs> you have to stop sending stuff to me until I can get the box sent off to you. I'm, I'm starting to feel guilty. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm just slow. All right. Now I want to cut off enough to cover this box. So maybe to this green line. And I'll have extra that I'll just use for other stuff. Yeah. So just be patient with me. I'll get there after I get it off of the yardage here. And what I have left, I'll use for... I have such limited space. If I were doing this and not filming it, I'd take it out on the dining room table and cut it on the dining room table. But I just And I didn't I didn't think about doing this until about 5 minutes before the stream. I was going to cover this box with that same horse and Christmas barn fabric. But <laughs> True to Mary, I brought it in here and I set it down and I can't find it. 
I can find my little marker that I made, my little bookmark. I know where that is, but I had a piece left, and I was going to cover this Crayola box with it. I can't find it. <laughs> so you're getting tape measure fabric instead. It's not going to be Christmassy. It's going to be sewing related. All righty. Let's set this aside. Get it out of the way. So what I want to do is I want to cover this Crayola box with this fabric. And I was, I guess it's going to go horizontal because that's the way I cut it. I could try to do it vertical. Or I could do it diagonally. I love my diagonals. <laughs> no, Mary. Let's see, if I do it this way, I'll have plenty of room to do it this way. Let's Which way do I want to do it? This way? Or this way? If I do it this way, I can wrap it all around. So I think I'll do it horizontally. And let's see. We'll cut that salvage off. We'll start right about here. And no, let's start in it. So that should be enough to cover it, but I'm going to leave myself some extra just in case I need it. Just in case I goof. All right. Now I'm down to a manageable portion. And we are going to cover this Crayola box. I'm going to cut this white salvage off. And I think I'm going to use my Yes Paste. Now, I think I'll start at the top here, or do I want to cover this too? Let's open this up. Probably the thing to do would be to open the entire Crayola box up. I wonder if I can do that and cover it flat and then fold it back. See the inside here. Yeah, the flap's here. Where's my palette knife? Let's see if I can open this up carefully. Rather than trying to wrap it around the box. Oh, by the way, this is not a tutorial how to do things. <laughs> I forget to tell you guys that I don't do tutorials. I do art, and you guys can come and watch. And... <laughs> They glued it down good. Let's see if I can get it open. I want to flatten this box out. And I think it'll be easier to cover it. A little gluey there. All right, yeah. Now I don't, I probably won't cover these flaps. I'll just cover, no, oh, let's see, let's open it like this. Put it like so. And I'll probably have to do the this separately. I might just paint the, the ends here. Paint these and paint these. My boxes. So let's get the yes paste. 
and smatter this with yes paste. And however it turns out here is just going to be how it turns out. My yes paste is right here. Getting it open. Yes, it opened good. Yay. And I let's put my fabric scissors away. And put these over here. And my let's put that brush in the water. Let's put this brush in the water. And I'm going to use I'm gonna use this other palette knife. I like this one to spread with. And we are going to put this on with the uh, Yes Paste. Now, I probably will not have, let's see if it comes this way. I will not have to put fabric on this end here, but I will on this end. So it's kind of hard to see where I'm putting that paste. I'm going to start up here. Put it on the top of this one. And let's turn it around. I think I'm doing a better job of this than I am of the... <laughs> Of the eraser carving. I'm going to recarve that eraser. I'm not happy with it. All right. I think that's pretty good. They say you do not need a really thick coat of this Yes Paste. But I like to get a nice layer on it. And let's turn it this way. It just seems like it's more right side up this way. And let's put the lid back on my Yes Paste. I might need some later. And I am just going to, I'm going to start right here, right up at the top. And I want it on the lid, so I'm going to put it way up here. And this part I'll paint. I want to get it straighter. And the thing about Yes Paste is, yes, you do have some leeway to work with it it's until it dries good it's very workable it isn't like score tape that once you put your fabric down it's down um i watch barb at joggles cover her journals with score tape and once that score tape is down like this it is down now, did I cover? I wanted to put Yes Paste on this. Hold it. I wanted to put it right in here. And I'll probably have to secure it more once it's dry and put together and everything. I'll make sure that it's all. So there we go. Now, let's flip it this way and see what I have. See, and it will be covered. It will come like this. So let's start trimming. And I'm not going to use the fabric scissors. I'm going to use the smaller. Yeah. Let me get up closer to it here. Put my lid back on my paste. Just put my palette knife in my water. My candle, that wick just really drowns in the wax. That was a, I got a better candle than that at the Dollar Tree. So, let's start trimming this. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm. Now this, I'm not, I'm not going to cover fabric on that because that'll get glued down. But I want fabric on this other side. 
So let's cut the other side off. And this is done Mary, Mary style. There's probably better ways to cut this. Yeah, I like that. Now I don't I want it on I want it on the top flap, but not on this flap. So let's cut it here. Well actually let's cut it this way first. I can get to it. And then I'll have to trim that better. Come here and trim it there. And there. There we go. Now the same thing over here. This one won't be so hard because it's already matched up to the top. Make a cut there. And I'm not bothering to seam this as far as it, it'll just be glued down. You know, on the edges here. It'll just be glued. I'm going to trim this a little closer. All right. Now let's do this one. Now this, I want to, I don't want fabric there because it's going to come under here like that. Actually, it's matching up pretty good. <laughs> this is called matching your seams. And this will be taped and glued back together again. So let's do this side. Let's do this first. Now we want this flap cut here. And cut over here. How many of you sticking with me because of the contest? Maybe I should stop and and do the contest so that those of you who want to play in the contest but would really like to get to bed. And then I'll show this tomorrow when I get it all done. Because this has to be all glued back together. Let's stop and do the contest. Now, what it's going to be, this is going to be a Crayola box. And it's going to be folded back together. And I'm going to take that washi tape. I mean, go make washi tape to fit inside of this. Like this. And then it's going to be wrapped in a piece of, of similar fabric. So that'll be one piece. Then this one. This one will have a unicorn on the back. And I will put... A similar type eraser. I'm not happy with this eraser. I'm not going to send this one. But it'll be a similar eraser that'll fit in here. And I might put some fabric washi in here. Because it seems like I need more. 
<laughs> or I might wrap it in a piece of fabric. But I want to I don't want to keep you guys all night if you're wanting to get to bed. So I'm going to stop and I'll finish it tonight. But I want you those of who who need to get to bed to not feel like they have to stay all night to play in the contest. I'll keep streaming, but so let me get my tablet out here and see who's still with me. <laughs> we got quite a few, 56 still here. Yay! So I'm going to have a giveaway. And I think I'll give them both away. And the first person will get a choice of what they want, and the second person will get the other one. So this is a giveaway of craft fair. Hashtag time for art. You see my pen is getting dry. And if you're lurking out there, come on in if you want to play in the giveaway. And the range will be... I like to give a big range, one to 200. You'll have plenty of numbers to choose from. Now, here's the thing. I want international to be able to play, but I know international mail, like UK says, gals say that they're in lockdown. And I don't know about mailing these through the mail uh, internationally. So what I'll do, if you're international and you win, one, two, and just to say one of these happened to be international, I'll give a third one and I'll send washi tape. I'll make some more strips of washi tape because I can just put those in an envelope. So international is going to get washi tape. And what we'll do, when I do that sequence number, um, I put in one to 200 and I'll pick if, if an international wins, we'll we'll put them down here, and then the next two, the next one down, will win their choice of this. So there will be three possible winners in here. If there's no wash international, there'll just be two winners. And uh, the night, Deborah. You sure you don't want to stay for the giveaway? Um. Uh, where was I? Oh, try not to say anything during the the giveaway. Let until I get every till we find the who the winners are, and then you can chat again. Otherwise, it could scroll off. I don't know if we have enough people in here. If there's too much chat, it'll scroll off on us. So the range is one to two hundred. The highest numbers will win. And uh, try to get your address to me as soon as possible within seven days. Uh, I'll try to get them sent out as soon as possible. Um, let's see. What else? Highest number will win. Try to sort out the duplicates. If we see somebody else have their no has your number, you know, have them pick again. Have them choose again. and Or you choose again. Let's sort out the duplicates. And uh, try when you choose the numbers, if somebody chooses seven, don't you pick eight. Because that means that the person who chose seven has to get it right on the dot. So when you're choosing your number, just kind of glance and make sure that it, it's a little hard, especially if there's a lot of people. But just try to give a leeway to people. All right. Um, don't say anything until I say go. And let me go set up random.org here. Yeah. This one's different than my phone, so I have to... <laughs> random.org, go. And the range will be... I want the sequence number generator. Sequence generator range between 1 and 200. Don't say anything until I say go. All right, I'm all set up.
Are you ready? If you're if you're lurking, come in and come in and play. All right, go. Thank you, Janice. Cheryl said her battery's low. Is Janice my mod tonight? Oh, Lucia's here. Oh, no, Lucia said she's, she's tired. She's got to go, too. <laughs> I'm keeping you guys up way late. I did get the um, fox and hummingbird for super chats um, given, given out, sent out, mailed out. I did that, so those are taken care of. So be watching your mail if you gave me a super chat in September or uh, or uh, October. You should be getting a, a thank you from me. I did get that done, and believe me, I was really proud that I got those sent out. Are we all done? I'm going to count down. Ten... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't have your number in. Get it in. Ninety-eight for Deborah. Okay, stop. Donna, yeah, Donna got another number in. Okay, do we have any duplicates in here? One seventy-two, twenty-one, fifty-six, one fifty-six, thirty-three, seven thirty. You guys got a good chance to win something. All right, I'm out to. Let's turn my lights down. A little more. I'm out at the sequence number generator. My range is between 1 and 200. I'm going to get sequence. And the top number is 102. Let me write them down. 102, 32, and the next one is just, we'll see if we got an international winner. So, 102, 32, and, um, well, I should write 184 down here, just in case. This is only if we have an, an international. 184. So, who had 100, closest to 102 without going over? Oh. Squeaky chair. I have to sit down again. Let me turn my lights on again so I can see. Deborah? Deborah Brown? Was it Deborah Brown? All right. Wow. She went to bed, didn't she? <laughs> well, she went to bed. Janice, you choose for her. Does she want the unicorn one or the fabric one? We need to know which one Deborah wants. <laughs> you pick good for others. Yes, you do. Now you have to choose, though, Janice. Are we going to send her the fabric one or the unicorn one? The unicorn one will have a carved stamp in it. Uh, something like this. It'll be a Christmas stamp. Um, now, I'm not going to send that one because it's not refined enough for me yet. Deborah liked the unicorn. Okay, we're going to give her the unicorn. Who has closest to 32 without going over? Do, 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 do. Oh, I see a 33 for Joyce. A 21 for able to joy, rejoice. 
Is it able to rejoice? At 27, uh, am I looking at right? 13, 100, at 21. Is it our other able joy? Is there our other joys? Yeah. Able to rejoice. You're in the States, aren't you? Able to rejoice. <laughs> yeah, our other joys. Able to rejoice. Who is Joyce? I don't think I have your address. I need your address. You're in the States. Okay. Do we have any international players at all in here? Suze, Donna, I don't think we have any internationals that play, do, do we? Fran, are you international, Fran Schulte? Or Jane, I don't know where you guys live. I just know you come. <laughs> are either of you international? Is there is there an international in here? Oh, okay. Fran is not international. Who was the other one? Uh, I do not know Sharon LeWinter. Are you international? Welcome, welcome, Sharon LeWinter. Do we have an international? Are you international? You're in Canada. Okay. Well, if... Um, Jane... Jane, I'm going to send you some washi, but you have to send me, let me put in my address here, my email. Email me. Do not Facebook me because I get lost in Facebook. I've got so many stuff coming at me, so much stuff. So it's the Mary, uh, where's my dot? A-T-E-L-I-E-R at... There's my email address, the.nary.ateliere at gmail.com. Um, Joyce and and uh, and uh, Jane. Jane is from Canada. Jane, I'll send you some fabric washi tape. I'll strip some of this, and I might put in some Christmas fabric. I'll see what I have. I'll send you some fabric washi tape. Which, if you're not familiar with fashion, fabric washi tape, we take a two-inch strip like this, and you can put just little pieces on there, but I usually take a big strip like this, and uh, I we use double-sided um, carpet tape, and it, it really, it's, it's good stuff, and... Uh, we put it on there, and then when you're ready to use it, you just peel off the back of the carpet tape. And I'll I'll send you a package of of uh, double sided washi tape. I'll send you a strip like this, and then I'll send you something else. But you need to get your addresses to me within seven days. And if I don't see it within seven days, I may be knocking at your door. I think I could find. Uh, Joyce pretty easy on <laughs> on Twitter or in DD stream but Jane you're new to me I think I think you've been on a few of my streams welcome to our newbies all right now if anybody wants to go to bed I completely understand <laughs> don't feel like you have to stay just because I'm still streaming I want to finish this up and that gave this a little bit of time to find it to settle down <laughs> i want to trim this a little here well i don't know if it is it this or this no i think it's okay so i think i'm ready to put this box back together maybe i'll trim this a little i want to get this trimmed a little bit better here Right there. That looks okay. All right. 
so this is the I think this is the bottom of it I painted it so I don't know yeah that's the bottom because it has to go this way so I'm going to put double-sided tape and glue on this and then it'll fold back in like this like that and I might tape the bottom closed I might tape it closed and just have the top be open and that will pretty much be done so let's go do that let's do that and then I'll come back and work on the wax paper is good to keep the desktop clean but it sure does move around on me let's grab some tape and let's see let's put a piece of tape here and this is double-sided Dollar Tree double-sided tape and that'll come around like this and I have to say it's matching up pretty good but I feel like I should put another strip here just to be careful. And it has to, let's see. Yeah, come right out to this end. Here. And then this is the bottom and I think I'm going to tape the bottom closed so it'll be more sturdy. And that will fit in there. So I want a strip of tape on here. And I might recarve that eraser yet tonight. It just depends. I'm not tired. I slept all afternoon. So I'm not too tired. <laughs> I keep slip, sleeping during Barb Owen's streams. I keep missing her streams. All right, so we wanna take our... Make sure this is buffered down good. And lift up the release paper. And do the same over here. Get it off without my. No. I like this palette knife because it gets in there really good to lift that release paper up. Now, this folds over. Let's see if I can match this up. Pretty good. Now that right meets right at the edge. I'm not sure I like that. I might come with a, a piece of washi tape or something along the edge here. I'm not sure. I should have had this piece a little bit longer. I could probably cut a piece that would fit that. And just let it go from here to here but or just let it go there but let's go ahead and do this i'll decide on that later we want this to fit down inside like that now i need it to stick whoops I guess put my hand in there might be the best way to make sure that it's so I might put washi tape around the edges here I'm not sure I'm happy with how this meets and with how this meets we might make washi out of this and put on there but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it 
Let's fold this. It needs to be creased. In there. So... Let's make some, let me get out this fabric I threw behind. I'm going to make some washi out of this. Because I don't like how this is meeting here and I don't like how it's meeting there. And I'm not even sure I'm happy with the top of it. I get picky. needs to be creased. Alright. So, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm happy. Two inches here, approximately two inches. Which would be right there. However, if I have two inches, maybe all right. I'm in my world. Sometimes my mind goes off on different things. Like, what am I going to say next? <laughs> I've told you guys my life history. Oh, I know what we can talk about. Our fourth Sunday hop. We have a hop now on Sunday evenings. It's a whole other set of gals, except for Shelly's in it. She spins... Juanita is on in it. APG Jamie. Mabel May. Um, crafting on a budget. Keisha. At Keisha's Creations is in it. Who am I missing? APG Jamie, Juanita, Shelly, Keisha. I think that's all of us. And we only we only hop in the evening. We don't hop on Sunday morning. So there's not as many folks in it. We'll be we we stream in that hop every fourth Sunday. So toward the end of this month, I think it's the twenty. What date is it? I want to say the twenty fifth, but I think that was last month. Twenty <laughs> third, the twenty third. So that's in a week and th about a week and a half, a week and three days. A week and not the 23rd, it's the 22nd. <sighs> it's the 22nd, Sunday, the 22nd, November 22nd, every fourth Sunday.
just Mary will get it right one of these days. All right, let's get out my tape. And what I do, let's get this wax paper off now. It's starting to get in my way. Let's get this off my desk. And I use this old scissors when I work with the washi tape because it can it can get sticky. And I like to use these older scissors when I cut this carpet tape. And that's even when you're working with your washi tape. If I gift it to you, Jane, if you're listening. Um, let's take a, a good amount of this off here. I think I'm going to leave the... I'm going to leave the salvage on where it says all rights. And we're just going to put it down this way. Now this is not what's going to go. This is what I'm going to use on the box. But this is how we, how I made it. Uh, Rosemary puts it in little horizontal strips. I don't think she's made a big strip like this yet. She might have. I miss a lot of streams. I miss a lot. I need more time in my life so I can go watch everybody. All right. We want more. We want more. And this washi, this double sided uh, carpet tape will cost you. If you get the larger package, I think it comes in a little bit smaller package too, with not quite as many yards on it. But the what I get it, I get mine at Menards, and it costs me around ten dollars. But it lasts a long time. It lasts a long time. There's several yards on it. And you know we don't use washi tape for everything. All right, there we go. Let's cut this off. All right. So what I want, what I think I want to do is see how this box is, this is the bottom of the box, and it's not matching up good in there, and it's not, it's matching, but it's not, uh, there's a crease in there where I put it together. I want to put washi tape along here. And I think I'm thinking I'm going to put it on the edge here, too, and just cover this whole thing. I'm still thinking about that because that'll make it pop open a little. But let's go ahead and do these two sides so they look a little better. So what I think I want to do, let's take it from this side. What I'm thinking is I just want to put it here. And wrap it around. Come on, flip. Wrap it like this. And I don't think I'll bevel it. I think I'll cut that off and do another piece. This side's okay. I have to do it. Where is it? Here. So let's let's just play with this. So let's cut it. For now, let's cut it right on the other side of that eight. And we'll see how that works. Right here. which comes out at the three on the other side. That's interesting. And so I'm thinking I want to put it right in here, just like so. Maybe I'll make it match up a little better. Put it this way. And then put it this way over here. And how does it match? It's pretty good over there. All right. 
let's just see what happens here. Yeah. I'm gonna trim this off a little. So I want to move this down here, right, like so, like so. Up a little. Neri's talking to herself. I'm not sure that's going to hold over here. I might have to move it up, right, like that. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Get the release paper off of it. Sometimes that can be a challenge. Yeah. And I'm going to pull it this way. Now, I don't like that, so I'm going to cut that off if I can. Now, those scissors don't cut fabric too well. So it's got a little bit of a of a crease in there, but I like it better than the crease that I had over on the other side. Now I'm going to cover this edge. I don't like this edge. This edge is okay over here. It's got some... So I want to do the same thing. Mary thinks. Mary thinks. Where's my face? I want to do the same thing here. Oh, but that's going to be interesting. I don't like that. I need it to go. I need another piece here. I need this to go around this way. Whoops. Well, that means I have to cut off that salvage. <laughs> Mary's just playing. Jane, you're going to... is not Jane. Who's the other person that won this? Joyce. You're going to get an interesting box. <laughs> She'll look at this and say, why did I go to that stream? Well, you'll get the washi, though. You'll get the fabric. You'll get an extra yardage of this. Not a yardage. You'll get a piece of this fabric. So, this is six. So, if I find six here, I can pretty much match it up. Six, two. Except for this doesn't match up now. <clears throat> doesn't have to be perfect. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> it's not going to be. I'm either going to live with this or I'm going to cover it. I don't like that. I don't like this. It needs to close better. come that popped open on me so all my matching up is going to go away this isn't matching it would if I put it here but then that doesn't match up here it loses its way <sighs> or I could just paint. Mary's not happy. Something's not right here. a little better but it's still not right something's not right there I want to do it until I get it right it's not right in there I think I'm going to snip that off Now, I don't like what I've done there, so. I don't like that I can't match up this fabric. I'd have to recover this whole box again and it's going to get so bulky. I'm going to try something else. I'm not happy. Is that the whitest stuff? Just, I like it, but it's not white enough, so let me keep looking. This might be white enough. That's too dark. It's really too dark. Let me keep looking. <laughs> you guys are going to say, I don't know what I'm going to get something for Mary, but I don't know what it is. I'm looking, hold the phone. I got this wonderful washi from Mitzi. 
That's pretty wide stuff. It's probably the one. Should I put some of that on it? I want some wider washi tape. Now all my wide stuff is not wide enough. I've got some of let's try this. Mary's not happy. It's really not bad, but it's it's not good in here either. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this. And I don't like how these ends here pop out on me. I have some really wide, interesting washi. And I'm tempted. I can always take it off if I'm not happy. Let's try. And I probably will take it off. Yeah. So. And this is not going to... This is washi that you would put on paper. I'm going to glue this down, I think. We're just going to play... I'm going to put it like this and wrap it around so I want to cut it straight or straighter. So let's get a ruler straighter than I would do it with my eyes than with my eyes. Goodness, Mary. Just bear with me. Let's give it a good couple inches. I might cut this a little shorter after I get it. Yeah, it's going to have to be a little shorter. And don't worry, I use whatever I, whatever scraps I cut off here will go on my calendar. <laughs> I have a calendar that I put scraps on. It's really turning out kind of neat. I can do this straight. I'm not happy with how those edges met up. And it's just a Crayola box. It's just a Crayola box. Let's save these. Put them over here on my... I want this to go in here on the edge right here I think right like so yeah and this is sort of transparent 
so some of these darker numbers will show through. So let's, I'm going to use my washi, my washi, my yes paste. <laughs> I'm giggling at myself. Some days I really do think I know what I'm doing, and other days I wonder. The towel out. Some days, but this is this is how I learn things to tell you the truth. All right, where's my piece? Let's put some. Let's put some yes paste on this because th this is. This is not ultra sticky. It's sticky, but it, it's not ultra sticky. So I'm just going to put some yes paste on it. And let's fold that over so I don't get it on anything else. got a line there. Well, I'll get my scissors sticky, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tolerate that. There. I think I like that much better. It covered up that crease and it kind of gives it a little bit of interest in there. do the same thing we're going to do the same thing over here to make it match and we'll do the same thing I think with the lid so I'm not happy with the lid so You just keep playing until you get it right. Get some of this stuff off my desk so I can work. My poor candle. I have to figure that out. A wick is not very good. I won't buy another one of those. 
All right. So I want another piece over here. So about a half an inch, come over here, and about another half inch. Let's measure. Half inch, three fourths of an inch, and a half inch. So an inch and a fourth of this. I like this. I, there's a website that sells washi tape. And I think I got it from there. I can't remember if I got it from there or if I got this off of Amazon. But they sell all sorts of unique washi tape. One and one fourth. A half inch, a half inch. And one and three fourths inch. Excuse me while I figure. One and three fourths and one and three fourths. I'll see if I can't get a little of this black line off. That's I had black line on there and I didn't like it. There. Okay. So I am going to cover this side just not because it needs it, but I want it to match. So I want to put this one over here to match that. And I think I like that. So let's put some... Yes, paste on this. You just play until you until you get it.
I'm much happier with that. Now my hands are a little sticky though, so let me wash my hands off. Sanitize my fingers. <laughs> All right. I'm much happier with this. Now, I think I'm going to do the lid, too, because I, I don't like how that, I don't like this part here. So, what I want is a piece that matches this. Ooh, that deer is cool. I'm trying to get this deer on there, and I'm trying to figure out if I want his feet to cut off or his head to cut off. I think I'll have his feet cut off. I could fold it under like that. that works and then we want about an inch half inch here about to that mark okay let's before I do that never fear all this other extra stuff I'll use
to figure this out. This is going to like. things, ten things with two hands. I have this come under like that. And this come over. over like this. So I need to mark these lines. here a minute ago. It's in my lap. I need to mark a line here. A line that I can see. Now, I need to glue all this, and it will go on, like, this. I want to keep this side clean. Do my gluing over here. I don't know what you guys are saying out in chat. I hope I'm still going. I should probably check chat here. Mary gets interested in what she's doing and hi Rhonda welcome welcome Rhonda thanks for popping in on me I'll probably be at this until I'm done <laughs> I thought this would be a simple project but no I covered my other boxes it didn't take this long to do but I've I've gone on down a rabbit hole here 
I've gone down a rabbit hole. I'll be down the rabbit hole until I get until I come out. I want this to come over this way and loop over like that. And I'll cut those edges off. Yeah. It, my fingers get sticky when I work with that yes paste. And I have to clean them several times. Now, let's cut when I cut these off here. Round it. I got a little mark in there, but that's okay. I'll take care of that too. Cut it like that. I got my deer on the flap right here, and he fits in like that. I'm much happier with it. Got a few things I need to do to it yet here. Put a little more paste on that. And this is washi tape, so, you know, washi is, <laughs> if you use it in this sense, you got to glue it down. Now, I'm much happier with it than I was half an hour ago. However, I'm not done with it. I'm still thinking that I want to do something to this. And I'm not sure if it's put black lines on here. Or make sure everything's glued down good. I'm thinking I would love to put maybe a vintage photo in there. I have to think about that. Um, maybe a cool fussy cut on there would be fun. You know, this is not a Christmas themed one. This is a sewing one. Um, Hmm. I have to think. Let me think. Mary's going to pull out her, her fussy cuts. Got me playing. Got me playing. Let's find a fun, a fun fussy cut to put on here colorful one. We need some color on that. Hopefully a lady. Like a vintage lady. I'll put these in as I sort through them. Ooh, I'd love to have a a Victor uh, mm.
see, I'm thinking a, a, a photo on here would be fun. Use your imagination. Find enjoyment, inspiration. The, the thing is the the thing is the thing process. The process is the thing. Well, why I wrote that down. You go, girl. I'll get that. I'll save that out. This is cool. We'll say that. A Night to Remember was the Titanic. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, she's cool. I like her, too. I'd like to have more color, but she's cool. We could color this, put a pink background. I'm going to save her out. What I did with my other two. This one I'm going to save out. <laughs> I don't know about her. Got her. This is, uh, who is this? I forgot who she is. We got a Liberty. 1979 Liberty coin. Yeah, got me playing with my fussy cuts now. I may be up all night at this rate. Oh, oh, see here. Very good, Eddie. Some sort of somebody. Ooh, I like that. Howdy and a lot more. <laughs> I'll be up all night if I play with my fussy cuts. Let's just put them back in. I think I found some good ones to put on there. I got a lot more fussy cutting to do, too. These are just my... These are come out of history books. Look at that. Dodgers. This is a girl. She's dressed like a boy. I forget her name, but she she played baseball and she broke into the leagues to be able to play on a boys team. That's all paraphrase of all I know of it. I'm looking for good fussy cuts. I think I found what I want, but let's just continue looking through here a stackable hobby that's what I have a stackable hobby I stack everything up in here I need to unstack some stuff ooh this is cool it's too big though but that would be cool on a box let's put these away ah <sighs> Still streaming? I guess I am. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> it's colorful. I think I found the one I want. So let's just kind of go through these faster. I forget what I have. There's a caution sign. I love that one. I 
I really need to put all of these in my fussy cut books and then I won't have to be digging through like this. I'd rather page through than dig through. Because this is, this is not really for glue booking. I mean, if you do glue booking in the sense that some people do, they reach in and, and uh, glue book with whatever they pull out. And that's okay. That's a good technique. I don't have any against it, but if I put all of these in a book where I can page through, I don't have to go hunting like this. Oh, here. That's cool. The fly to fly, fight or buy bonds. But I kind of like this one. I think I'll just put all these back. I think I found what I want. Let's just not go through these. <laughs> I should go through them to see what I have. I forgot what all's in here. But not now. Let's just put them away, Mary. Put them away. As soon as I can get them straightened out enough to put away, I will. I hope I still have my You Go Girl out. Yeah, I do. I, I want to thank you if you're still here listening or lurking or, or whatever. I, I sometimes play late. It's what I do. We already had, I had the giveaway earlier, so folks wanted to go to bed, they could. I make myself the last stream because people get tired. And I understand that. I get tired. I'm going to save this one out. Yeah, I need to sit down and just... The trouble is, there's so much I need to sit down and do that this just kind of gets pushed to the background. All right, so... Here's my box. Where's the front? <laughs> I need to put something on here so you can find where the lid is. And I'm I'm happy with this now. I'm happy with the sides. I did not like the sides because I felt like they were raggedy. And I used some washi tape along the edges here and along the tape, and it's much better. Now, I like... I like this. Some sort of somebody. Very good, Eddie. I think I'll put that on there. I like that. And this I'll just... Uh, shall I leave it? Or shall I put something on there? I kept this out just because I thought she was cute. <laughs> so this one. Or... This one. Now, these are kind of too big. She fits. Or I could put this one on. This one's colorful. But it kind of gets rid of my... I think, I'm think i thinking I'll just leave it. Because if I, put, if I put this one on here, it works. And if I cover this up, it kind of gets rid of my fabric design. So I think I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm going to use that. Now I got this You Go Girl. Do I want to put it down here or up here? I could put it up here. Or I could put it on the side or on the back. Up here. I'll have to decide. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm there. Let's put this gal on. And I think I'm happy with it now. You got to keep working with this stuff until you you can tell yourself that you're happy with it. If you can make something and think, well, I would like to have that for myself, then you know your success. But if you make something and it's not quite there yet, you go, eh, that's well, okay. But well, then you know you aren't there yet. 
so this will be the front. And what I'm going to put in here is more of this fabric washi tape. I'm going to make several, couple strips of this and put in here. And then when I, uh, uh, able to G rejoice, won this. And when I send it off, I've, I've cut out a piece of fabric that I'm going to, of the same fabric that I'm going to send with it. And that, that will be what she gets. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And it'll be ready to go. And then I still have this to do. I'm happy with this. It just has to be finished. I'm happy with this. We're going to put an eraser in here. I might be up for a while. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to quit not being finished on this. I want it to be done, so I might be up. You guys can come and go as you please. Let's see, I'm done with this washi. This was actually pretty good stuff. I kind of like it. It's it's not real real sticky, but I like the width of it. And I like the transparency of it. What's this? Oh, we didn't get... We got a man here who needs to be put away. <laughs> Let me put him in my packet. And I'm liking these folders. I get these at Walmart. I'm liking these. All right, let's glue this down. <laughs> Washi tape. And I'm using Yes Paste just because I have it out. I attach the fabric to the box using Yes, uh, yes Paste. I like that. Some sort of somebody. And I'm going to put her on the front here. Maybe right there. Yeah, let me get a towel. My hands get sticky every time I use, oh, that's not straight. What I like about Yes Paste too is it's repositionable. It's repositionable. Let's see if I can't. this a little better. And I think this was probably a musical, some sort of a musical in the 30s or 40s, maybe the 50s. I can't read all the print on it. It came out of my history book when they were covering entertainment. Yeah, I'm liking that now. I'm happy with it now. Even the back is just fabric, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it like that. Now, I have You Go Girl. Do I wanna put that on top? On the side or on the back? Not on the back. Kind of like it on the top. Now, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to eyeball it. doesn't have to be perfect perfect just on there there I like it <laughs> I'm starting to like it Let's go 
fold this up because it's going to be gluey. There we go. You go, girl. Got a little strip thread hanging there. Yeah, I'm liking it. All right. So, I can put my yes paste away because I think I'm done with that. I think I am. Maybe I should check the corners here. You think you have it sometimes and you don't. You want it to be nice and secure for if you're sending it out. I'll check it again before I put it in the mail. Make sure the corners are glued down. That one I'm pulling up. This yes paste is repositionable. So this just may not be dried down yet. I think that's good. I'll check it tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm going to pull it out. I was worried about this piece. I was worried, but now I'm happy. So now what we want to do is let's put that in the water. I have a tea. I've got another man sitting out here. <laughs> Papa Pierre. Papa Pierre sitting there. I get these fussy cuts out and there's always a stray one. My scissors need to be cleaned. I've got extra washi tape for my calendar. Okay, I can throw that away. Let's look at chat. I get into my, I get into my zones. Ooh, wow. You guys are chatting away. Thank you, Suze. Thank you, Lala. Thank you guys for hanging with me. I'm surprised I still have 42 of you in here. <laughs> it looks like your grandmother's flipper picks. Are you talking about this or uh, another piece that I had out? Sue says she got a little snack. Sharp cheddar, sliced onion, and saltines. Ooh, that does sound good. Hi, Karen Kay. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'll tell you, I was a little worried that I was going to pull this one off, but I think it's come together nice now. I think it's come together very nice. And, uh, yeah, I would take this if somebody mailed it to me. And I'm going to put fabric washi in here, and I'm going to send a piece of this tape measure fabric with it. That will, that's, is going to go to Able to Rejoice. Let's see, who else are we talking to in here? Sharon Lombard. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, oh, Sharon, too. Sharon is always sending me nice stuff. I owe everybody. <laughs> yeah, we're talking. Lala's talking about her fussy cuts. She says I just put mine in a box in labeled file folders, kind of like Sh uh, Shannon Green does. It's fun to look through now. Yeah, I like to take wax paper. I'll take wax paper and make pages out of them. And then I'll take a piece of paper sack and make an edge and punch holes in it. And then I have a, a fussy cut book that I put it in. And when I look for things like this, I can just page through that book. And that's so much more comfortable than digging them out. But I do so much fussy cutting that I put them in folders. And you can see, I get a pile of them. And I have to eventually stop and, and put them in my 
book, but I haven't done that for a while, and they're starting to stack up. All right. Was Allie Kay in here and Marge? Are you still here, Allie? Hi, Allie. Looks like the fabric might be by Moda. Um, let's see if I can still read the, the uh, where did I put it? Let's see if I can read the salvage on here. We'll see if I can find out who. I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. There were, um, I got two yards of it because I knew I would use it. I got it. Uh, Rosemary sent some some similar. This does not exactly meet uh, match Rosemary's, but it's it's similar enough that I'm going to eat. I put Rosemary's what she sent in the little book, but I'll probably use more of this. I liked it when I saw it. I'm going to see if I can read a salvage, see who. Uh, there is a salvage on here somewhere. Let me unwrap it and see if I can. <laughs> here. Brother and Sister Design Studio. Allie K. B59. Cafe P076, copyright 2018, Brother Brother Sister Design Studio, all rights reserved. Of course, they mean when they sell it in yardage just like this, they mean for you to use it. They just don't mean you to use it and make your own fabric and sell it as, <laughs> sell it that way. And I, I kind of think the same thing when people, you know, like Tim Holtz. Now, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but they make that stuff for you to use. Like, I love his paper doll. Oh, that was the one that was in my glossy accents. Um, I love his paper dolls, and I like his die cuts and things. They don't sell that for you and then get mad because you use it. <laughs> you know? So I have no qualms about using that stuff that that I buy. It, what they don't want you to do is copy it and sell it, sell it, resell it as what whatever you copied. Do you know what I'm saying? And especially if you sell it, mass produce it, you get in trouble that way. So what I want to do is take some of this and make some more washi tape. I think I told her I'd make washi tape out of this. So let's get my scissors out. And I think this is probably two inches on each side of this. Let's measure for sure. I'm going to put this box up here. I'm going to get this box done. <laughs> I'll probably do an all-nighter here getting this stuff done. But you know what? I'll have it done. <laughs> All right. So from here, and I might trim this little piece off from that white to the edge of the green. No, that's not going to work. Let's see. From five to seven and from seven to nine. And there will be, this is a little odd cut in there, but all right, that's my fault. Let's cut this. I think I can cut it better in my hand than on the table there. So I don't have a good place to work on this stuff. Cut fabric. Like I said, if I were doing this, if I were sewing, like making a dress or something, I would 
I go out on the dining room table to cut this. I have more room. Make my brother move all his stuff off the dining room table. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I push my brother out of his house. Poor guy. I have to say my brother is very, he's very uh, understanding, uh, like of this room. Um, he doesn't care what I do in here. But he doesn't like me. I'm going to have to get those boxes out of the dining room if we're going to put up a Christmas tree. He he doesn't like a lot of it scattered around the house. But I, I tell him, he's still got stuff up in the dining room in a corner there. His significant other had a Coke collection. And boy, she had a lot of it too. And I said, well, she's been gone seven years. <laughs> And she's still got stuff that you won't put away. <laughs> but my brother's really good. He's he's pretty good about... Sometimes I wonder why he hasn't evicted me. <laughs> he's pretty understanding. He's a pretty good brother. I try to thank him, make him know that how much I appreciate having a roof over my head. I tell him, don't die. <laughs> We have conversations about if either one of us would pass. Well, if I'd pass away, he'd just continue living here. But um, I just, if he passes away, you know, he's getting older. He could go at any time. I could go at any time. <laughs> and uh, he thinks that, he says, you can live here, you know. And I'm going, I don't think I can take care of this big house by myself. I mean... Um, he just fixed the light switch in the back porch. I couldn't have done that. He knew what he was doing. It just needed a, a switch. But I wouldn't know how to put, put a new switch in. And the dryer, the dryer on the door that opens, we got a door that opens on the side. Well, right up here on the door was, I could have done that. But it was a, it, there was a hex screw. And it was coming up, and every time I'd open that door, I'd scrape my hand across that screw. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I asked him if he'd fix it, and, and he did. Let's see, let, I want to put this down this way. And our light, our light above the sink went out. Well, it didn't go out. It works. It worked. ED, it worked. <laughs> In past tense. But what happened was the chain, it had a pull chain on it. And the chain, I didn't pull on it, he did. I'm glad it wasn't me that pulled on it. And it pulled the chain off. And you couldn't turn the thing on. So he got another light and he put a, a new light in there. I couldn't have done that. And there's a lot of stuff that... Now I will go out when we have an ice storm like we did last week. If branches fall down in the yard, I can go out there and pick up branches and throw them away. Oh, you don't want to, this fabric gets stretchy. And when you're doing this, you don't want to stretch the fabric. You just want to kind of lightly lay it down on there. I have a tendency to want to pull on it. You don't want to do that. And it looks like I might have to cut the edge of the tape to fit my fabric here. I got some tape, extra tape here. And that's what I did. Oh, I went shopping, was it yesterday? And I came home and even before I brought the things in the house, I went around the yard and picked up all sorts of branches that fell. ice storm I could you know luckily we didn't have any big big tree branches come down I couldn't have handled big ones there were some fairly large ones but there wasn't anything that I couldn't carry all right so let's cut this here now I'm debating whether to leave this or trim it. 
it gets better up here, right in here. I could do one of two things. I could cut it off right here and send her this much. Which is what I'll probably do because I'm going to do another strip. So I'm going to cut it right here. She's going to have plenty. So I'll send her this much, which is probably about 20 inches, maybe. Let's see. My ruler. This is 18 inches. It's probably more like 24 inches. Probably a couple feet. Ah, stuck on there. This is 18 to there. And 18 to that 8. And 6 and a half. So about 2 feet, a little over 2 feet here. And I'm going to do another strip. So let's do, let's do this strip. I think this one might be cut better. Would I spend this much on time on something up for a craft fair? I might, but, <laughs> you know, I don't know. You put a lot of time into this stuff, and I don't think people realize. Let me get this stuff out of the way. This is rolling back on me. People don't realize how much it takes to do the, to do the stuff that you see at craft fairs. Yeah, that's a little much. Pull that off of there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have this right. And I think I, I fiddle faddled on this box more than I should have. Probably. But I wasn't happy with it. And when you're not happy with it, you know, you know that it's not quite right yet. Yeah, my fingers are sticking to this. It's got a little edge on it, but I think it'll be okay. Try not to stretch it, just kind of let it relax on there. Okie dokie. There we go. Now, let's fold this like this and like this. Where's my box? One more time. No, it's going to have to be folded. Like that, maybe. Like that. And looks like I'm going to need a clip. 
or a band or a string or something. But for right now, well, maybe this. Oh, let's do the other one. This one's not quite as long. Maybe fold it in thirds. Is that too long? Yeah. Maybe in fours. And I used to have a little hair band. I wonder if I can find one. I've got a rubber band. I've got bobby pins. I had one of those hairband things. Well, I'm going to put a rubber band on it now. When I find the hairband, when I find the hairband, I'll put the hairband around it. I could tie a. Let's put this on it for now. Open this up. And that'll go in there. Oh, cool. She'll go, what's in here? <laughs> I should write label. I don't know if she knows what fabric was. She surely, she knows what fabric was she is. Maybe I'll put a little note on it. Okay. So, and then, then I cut a piece of fabric to send her. What did I do with that? Here. So I'll wrap this up in here, and this will go off to Joycey. I'll put a ribbon on it. I need a ribbon. Oh, I know what I have. I have that. I have, what can I tell you now? Is that in here? I have ribbon. I just don't know what I did with it. I have that ribbon that I dyed. Find it. I'm not going to hunt for it now. I have some ribbon that I dyed that would look really nice on here. So that's done. Now, let's let's work on this is mine. That'll go off to Joycey. Guess where I put it? <laughs> Over on the other desk. Now we want to finish. We want to finish the unicorn. I'm going to be up late, but I'm going to work on this stuff till I get it done because I want to give it away. Isn't that fabric cool? It's only ten fifteen there, Sharon says. So I'm going to stick with you, Mary. Ah, oh, thank you, Sharon. But if you need to go, if any of you need to go, I completely understand because I get going in my world and I can go till 3.30, 4.30. Rhonda says, Lala, I'm not sure, too sure regarding yes paste and humidity. I do know it is a very strong hold. It probably depends on what you use it on. Now they made it for book binding and I think on that box it'll be okay. But uh, it probably depends on what you put it on. And it probably depends on how humid it is. 
But I think it'll be okay on this box. And I put washi on it, so. Do, 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 do. Hi, Marge West. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Leslie. Leslie Casey, welcome to you. Do, 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 do. Karen Kay is here. Suze was here. There's Abel to rejoice. <laughs> You're getting a box, Joyce. <laughs> Likey to somebody with a little red. <laughs> oh. Hi, OG Brody was here. Oh, I missed her. Hi, G. She said, well, I'm going to call it a night. Everyone have fun. Thanks, Mary. Bye, all. I missed her. I'll have to wave at her on her video. How about a wood button of measuring tape or a thimble? That would be cool. She must have said that before I did my images, though. I'm just reading back. Please look at the fabric salvage for name. Oh, I'll put a note. I don't know if you're still here, Joyce, but it's Brother Sister Studio. Maybe I'll cut a piece that piece off of the salvage. I don't know if I want to send that, though. I'm going to probably keep it for myself. <laughs> I'll write a note on there that it's Brother Sister Studio. That's what it's. Brother Sister Design Studio or something like that. I'll look at it again. I got it at Hobby Lobby. G was here. Angie was here. Allie K said thanks. Okay, Norma. We'll scroll back to find. Do, 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 do. Oh, Allie Kay said her battery died. <laughs> yeah, if you hopped all day, Allie Kay. That's why I'm keeping mine plugged in. Janice said good night. I am awake. I slept this afternoon. Let's go ahead and finish this. And I'm going to collage. This other unicorn on the front. These these were... I've had these napkins for a couple years. And I saved one. But I had three of them left. And I saved one for me. And I'm going to collage this other unicorn over here. So let's get at it. Let's get at it. Thank you for all of you who came in. And that are sticking with me this late. I appreciate it. All right, so when I do these, I fold them and fold them. <laughs> I'm laughing because I saved the borders off of that other one that I did, and I don't know where it's at now. Let's see, where's that other pair of scissors here? Let's cut this. Maybe I'll fold it one more time. And cut it here. And over here. And that doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to go get clodged down. And then I refold it this way. And another time. And this way you just have an inch to cut. You don't have six inches. Trim that off. And trim that off. There we go. And this is going to go on here. But let's cut. I have enough. Yeah. I'm going to cut this border off.
Now, I think this napkin collage is down better than the fabric does. It kind of, when you collage it down, it kind of, well, it glues down. That fabric with the Yes Paste um, glues down, but, you know, fabric, fabric is a little different. Now, I have this edge, and did I do that? I don't think I'm going to leave that edge because I'll wrap this, this around here. So I'm going to take this edge off because when I put this down, if I leave that edge there and put this down there, you'll be able to see, especially like uh, if I use the horse, You'll see that green behind the horse. And I don't want that. And so I'll have enough edging over here to wrap around there. That's my thought. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to cut this off. And we're going to trim this I wish this napkin had more more of these on it I wish it was a four corner napkin but it's not so I can't change that now I'm thinking that this will go well it's a little thin I'll have to either paint it or washi tape it or something this will go on here. Now, I think I'll go ahead and either collage those down. Let's, let's cut this. Maybe if I collage that down, I'll have enough around the edges that when I put this down, yeah, that's what that'll, that's how that'll happen. that that way and that there and that there and then when this comes this will come collage on top all right let's do the same over here 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 and All right, let's glue those down first. And that means I need another towel because I don't like to use a wet brush when I'm... My scissors out of the way.
dry it enough that it won't, that I can put it upside down without it. And if you don't want to alter a, if you don't have cigarette boxes, which could be a very good thing, uh, crayon boxes, what I covered that fabric one with was a crayon box. You don't have to use cigarette boxes. I just use cigarette boxes because they are so available here. <laughs> I can't change my brother's ways. He's going to have to change them himself. He won't listen to me. He's a good brother, though. I keep saying he's a good brother. He's been very good to me. Don't tell him that I'm saying that, though. He'll get a big head. <laughs> you guys, you thank you, you thank me for, for putting this hop together, and I'm going. You guys better kick me off my pedestal, or I'm going to get a big head. All right, so now we want to collage this down here. And I'm not too worried about the top and bottom because I'm going to put some, some of this, some of this on it up here. And maybe on the sides. So, how do I want it? I want it so that the unicorn's heads will, I think I can pull it over a little over a little like that and so it's horn will show but this is the front so I'm going to have to cut in here this in here is going to be cut out where's my exacto knife let me get an exacto knife out little one work. I just want to cut through that paint a little. This will, this, this is the opening of the box. I kind of painted it shut, which is okay. It, it will, it will come open. Yeah. The side is here. I might need to pop this blade. Let's get the pliers out. Uh, uh, this blade is an older blade. So 
throw that in the trash. See if that helped. Might be good to mark this now. I'm not worried about that. I'll have I'll be putting more napkin on this, so might be good to get it off now. Oh, I painted that shut good, didn't I? Boy, that really painted it shut. I didn't have that much trouble with my others. Yeah. That one popped open. There. It's right here on the edge. There we go. Yeah. Right there. There we go. Oh, this still has the silver paper in there. Let's take this liner out. She might not want that. It's clean now. I've got some silver paper left in there. I can give it out. Alrighty. I'm happy. Now. I'll collage it again, but it won't be as hard to, because I've already got the worst, I think. All right. <sighs> this is what they line it with. It's kind of pretty. It'll make a nice junk journal or calendar thing. All right, let's collage this other piece down. I'll keep those handy. I want to collage this down. Right here, right in there, like that. So here we go. Oh, I know. I when I collaged, I glued that with my glue. I guess it depends on how much glue you put on there and how careful you are with it. All right, let's put this. I want the I want the unicorn head to show. Oh, he could come over a little. Let's move him over a little. Yeah. 
Put your glasses on, Mary. Now I'm going to dry that so I can handle it better. How much do I want to come over? Probably more on this. Up here. Let's do the let's do this. Now I'll have to cut that box open again, but I did it once, I can do it again. Now this won't matter as much because I will be putting, I will be putting a strip there, but I think I'll put a, let's glue this down. Now well, let's, let's dry this. I'll put closet a little bit more. And I had. I'm going to be putting strips on the sides and the top, so I'm not as concerned that they match. I'm going to be using this border. Okay. Well, let's cut this down a little. really cut crooked. You did a great job of that, Mary. 
a little better. Okay. And you don't have to be this fiddly with it. I fiddle with this stuff. You could work on this a lot faster than I do. I like to play. I like to play. Ew! Gunky glue there. Let's get that out of my glue pot. It was along the edge. And they put it in the trash. Looks like a piece of fabric or napkin or something. I have probably had it on my brush and it got in there. Okay, let's dry this off. My wax paper is floating away again on me. on here.
And this is just school glue that I'm using. It's nothing fancy dancy. I'm a kid at heart. You need a school glue. Now, what I want to do is take this, and I have enough of this. Where's my other piece? That it can go on all four sides, I believe. So I've got four sides of this, except I need six sides. No, I don't need six sides. I only need four sides. I'm good. I'm good. Let's trim it up. As best I can. These shorter pieces will go on the top and the bottom. Let's cut this white off. So we're going to put a piece down the edge this way. It almost goes clear across, not quite. But I'm going to clip it off. Maybe I'll collage it down first and then clip it. Was it this one? But Mary. It's hard to trim this after you've already cut it off of the napkin. But luckily I've got green on both sides. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut my box open again, but I don't think it'll be as hard this time as it was. Maybe I could be wrong, though. As hard this time as it was the last time. Because I've only got one layer to cut through there. All right, let's dry that Now, I think I'll trim this off, though. Do I want it to go around that way? And then take another piece and put over it? I don't know if I'm that good at matching. I don't match it, but let's trim this.
hard to see what I'm doing. That's pretty good. It's a little bit of white there. Can't get it off. Let's turn it around. That's pretty good. Do I want to try to go over it? Is that upside down? Yes. Maybe just a bit, maybe not that much. Let's cut it off there. I'm still going at it. Thought I had another piece of this. What happened to it? Here it is. So let's do this other top here. that on here. Yeah. And I might bring this down to the little, just a little bit below the lid. No, I might. No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Lid's not too...
I should probably stop and look at chat. See what you guys are up to. I get in my world. I get in my world. Hi, Stack Chapes. Lala's going to bed. Good night, Lala. <laughs> she went to bed an hour ago. <laughs> Half an hour ago. Rhonda's here. Rhonda, if you need to leave, I don't want you to feel like you have to stay in here if you need to leave. Donna's here. You're just doodling. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. Doodle away. Joyce is going off to bed. Sharon's here. Leslie's here or was here. I backed up an hour ago. I know this gets a little uh, and boring to watch, but, you know, you guys, you stick with me, and I sure appreciate it. However, if you need to go to bed, I understand. This one's turning out cool. This one is easier to do than that fabric one. I, I liked how the fabric one turned out in the end, but I was wondering if myself if I was going to pull it off. I was wondering if it was going to work out. I got to... Sometimes when you get that, sometimes you just haven't found the, you haven't found the solution yet. And if you keep working at it, eventually you find what works. But sometimes you have to not give up. Not give up. I think that's dry enough to move on. We've got one more side here to do. One more side. We're about done with covering this, and then I've got to cut. I've got to cut it open. This one is going to go to um, Deborah. Deborah Brown. Janice won it for us. I had a chuckle. Janice says, "I'm pretty good about winning things for other people." <laughs> Let's cut this off. All right. One more side here to do. Whoops, got a, just a little white that needs to come off. I'll put it way up. Right in there. And instead of trying to so hard to do that eraser thing, I think I'm going to make one, or maybe I'll just give her the one that I made the other night. No, I'll make one like it. With just the lights on it. I think trying to put these candy canes on this eraser... I haven't quite got that design worked out yet. I'm not quite happy with it. And if I do one like I did the other night with just the lights and the tree branches, it might work out a lot better.
And that one wasn't really hard to carve. There we go. Now I put that in water. Let's put the lid on my glue so I don't spill it. And let's try this off. Now, before I cut this open, I think what I want to do is put a varnish over this, because this is just napkin, and it will wear as it's opened and closed, if she opens it and closes it a lot, or whatever. So I think I want to varnish this. Let's let that dry just a bit, and let me get my varnish. Varnish dries fast, just like the glue. Let me reach for it. Oh, it's right here. Right up above my head. I'm going to try this satin varnish. Let's see how this works. It's juicy. Let's get a, my brush out again. I don't like a wet brush. All right. I'll put that over there. This is the back of it. Oh, maybe I have, this is new. I have to open the, I think it's got a seal. Oops. There we go. That came off pretty good. Now, Dee Dee says, don't put, let's get my sponge out. Let I have a sponge out over here. Let's get a clean sponge. We'll sponge it on so there'll be no brush strokes. But Mary says, what's wrong with brush strokes? Uh, all right, no brush strokes. That's already drying out on me. And the other thing Dee Dee says is you don't need a lot of varnish. That I could understand. Yeah, let's drop that. Do the front. Probably too much, but a 
we can bring some of it over here on the side. And do this side. I really spent too much time on these. I couldn't have done this in a half hour. I feel a little guilty. Everybody else did their project in a half an hour. Mary's spending five hours on hers. But I'm giving them away, she says. I'm giving them away. Ouchie. Ouchie. I hate them hot. Let's put a little on the bottom and on the top. Don't need much. Put a little here on the top. Oops. Okie dokie. I'm wondering if it's yeah, I think when I heated it I think it'll be okay. It's where it's it's where this crease is going to be when you open it. I think it'll be okay. All right. So, let's open it. Whoops, let's open it up again. Let me wipe the top of my varnish bottle off. Put it back. Put my brush in the water. All right, we want to open this box up again. So we're just going to cut right in there. Right across. And 
it's right here at the very corners where it doesn't want to open up again. So it gets pretty sticky in there. where I'm going. Here it comes. I cut my piece of sandpaper up the other night with those scissors, so I can't sand that down. But I think it's pretty good. It's a, the box needs to dry a little. It's just a little damp from all the the wet, you know, the collage. So we're gonna set it up here and let it dry. And I let's see. I think instead of trying to do the stamp that I did, where is it? My Christmas stamp with the bird and the cameo. The leaf and the diamonds and the cameo and the birds. Of course, it's not here. I'm going to put these in here. I'll play with those later. <sighs> Well, here it is. I think I'm going to do another stamp like this. I think I'll, she'll be much happier with it. And it, let me stamp it out. See, it stamps like that, and then you can take some red. I might 
might have put my red away. Let me reach for it. Let's do another one. I like this stamp a lot. I'm going to do another one for her. And then you match it up. Like that. Something like that. And then you can take your red and you can fill it in. Like this. I'll do one like that. I think that's much better than the one I was carving tonight. I'll keep that pin out. And this won't take long to do. So let's put my glue away. I'll just keep my ink out. Let's open up a new eraser. And I'm going to zoom in. My camera kind of sinks to where it wants to go. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And Lucia, she's probably in bed. Thank you, Lucia, for the super chat. All right. So, I want to measure out a half an inch. Did I save out one of those little... No, I didn't, but I have this one. I have this. It's much better than those big rulers, but I hard to see the inches on this. Where is it? Seven and six. Ah, that. Let's get my other ruler. Now I'm done with the heat gun. Mark the one half point here and the one half point over here. No. I need to stay in frame. Am I in frame? Okay. So I'm just going to draw a curvy line down like this. And I think I'm going to leave a little spot in there and I'm going to draw a tree branch and a light I need to make my lights a little larger because I want to carve out the center and I I uh I think that's where I went wrong with the well, let's put a tree branch in here. Like that. Something like that. And a, a light coming off down here. And 
then a branch coming this way. Maybe a branch coming, a little branch in here. And a light. Over in here. And I think this will probably be much better for her than that, what I was trying to do with those candy canes. And then I have a, a line there. All right, let's carve that out. I think this one will turn out better. Grab my carving tools. Bevel the edges. I might have to put new blades in here. I haven't put blades in these in a long time because I carve on this high polymer and it's really good. It's good to carve with. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of outline these tree branches here and then I'll come in and put the lines in them. And the same way with the lights. The light comes down and around this way. A tree branch there. Yeah. Yeah. I keep running over the cord with my chair. It just loves to get under my wheel of my chair. My cord does. Uh, yeah, it thinks it belongs there. Let's look at chat. Mrs. D. Do-It-Yourself TV, I was thinking about you the other day. I was thinking about you, and I still have your teddy bear with no heart stamp <laughs> that I made last year. I haven't sent any stamps out because of I just want the mail to settle down a little the, with the election and all that. But I, I was thinking about you, and I thought, hmm, I haven't seen her for a while. <laughs> Rhonda's here. Good night, Leslie. I think Sue's conked out. She said, thank you, Mary. Good night to friends and all. Loves to all. It's getting pretty late, but 
I want to finish carving this. I want to get these ready to go. I had a giveaway and I want to get them out. Mary does this stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mrs. D won the teddy bear with no heart last year. And he's still in, he's still, he's on my mail cart. He's on my project cart. And uh, what happened was I carved a teddy bear and... Then on, I carved another one and I put a heart on them. And so I started putting hearts on all my teddy bears. Well, we had a teddy bear with no heart of the first one that I carved. So I gave, I had a giveaway and Mrs. D TV won it. Mrs. D do it yourself TV. All right, let's, let's see. Did I carve that one out? I need to carve this one out. And Rhonda's fox, I want to get that carved yet in November. Hopefully I'll get it carved for you, Rhonda. It's on my it's on my radar. Well, I carved it, but it didn't. some of this out. And I also want to, uh, I know no, probably nobody in here um, but the New Year's stream, streamathon, I got about half of the invites to send out yet yeah, i'm sending it to everybody who streamed last year first and i had a couple people who from friday night say they were interested so um we might have a couple of new streamers with us for the new year streamathon the musical scrapper was putting it all together and she didn't want to do it this year she has other things on her pat on her plate on her palette and so I offered to put the, put it together invite people and she said that she started sending out invites after the first of November so that's what I'm doing all righty let's see is that carved out that's carved out I, I can start Doing the little detail here. Now let's make some, I think I want to come down this way with this.
come down this way and start putting in some leafy lines. some evergreen leaf, uh, branches here. And I've got another one coming down here. All right. So let's take my, let's get rid of the shavings here. Take my pen and see what it looks like. Yeah, I gotta carve some of that away. Clean up that bulb a little. I think I'm going to like this one. I'm going to clean that off a little more, too. Yep, I think I'm going to like this one. Let's just do a little cleanup on it before I stamp it out. My head gets in the way, I apologize. Sometimes it's hard to see what I'm do where I'm going with this stuff. Yeah. 
I think I'm ready to stamp her off. And so let's zoom out a little so you guys can see better. Let's turn my paper this way. No, let's keep it this way. All right, let's see what this looks like. I might have to clean it a little as I go because I haven't I haven't stamped it off yet. The good thing about tree branches if if you have a little nick in the back it isn't going to matter too much. All right, let's see what happens here. I think putting the red on it and the lights really improves it out. All right, wait. I can see right now I want some more lines in here. No, some more lines in there. Let's try this again. I think that's just a matter of not having enough ink on it. Let's see, what is this? That's the spot in here. spot right in here. I think this just didn't get enough ink on it here. I'm pretty happy with that. This might need a little work. That's too thick in there. So let's thin this out a little.
that's better. And maybe this. Okay, what else do I want to do? I think this is just bad, bad inking up here. Let's try again. No, that's not deep enough for me here. Although it printed out pretty good there. I'll leave it alone for now. to stand up to see what I'm doing. Whoops, I got dirty inky hands. Yeah, I think that's better. Let me wash my hands off a little. It's a little dark in, in this area right there. It's a little dark. Let's see if I can thin that out just a teeny bit in there. Let's try it again. <sighs> and I th I'm thinking that these lights, the lines around the lights are a little thick. I need thick lines, but they're just a little bit too thick. Let me trim them just a teensy bit.
Let's see how that prints. I think she'll be much happier with this. I'm much happier with this one than the one I carved earlier tonight. And then you take an, your red pen and you fill in the lights. Like that. Let's do a dangle. I'll put this in my art journal and I'll stamp her a little card to fit in her box. And then I think I'll have both of them fairly done. Let's make this one come down further. <laughs> I can't quit. I can't quit. I want to do a short one. I like this design a lot. I think she'll be much happier with it than what I did earlier tonight. I have to refine that one I did earlier tonight. It's hard to do things on the fly like this. Sometimes when you, just like that box, sometimes you you know what you're where you're going, but you're not just quite not there yet. And sometimes you just have to keep working at it. Let's fill these in. Was that one? <laughs> I'm lost. Is that a... I don't think so. I think that's just from the... Where it meant. One, two... Maybe it is three. One... There we 
we go. I'm pretty happy with this. It looks Christmassy to me. All right, let's do one down in the corner here to document it. Just do one right in here. And grab another pen. And I draw a box around it. And this is November the 13th, 2020, and I'm going to put for hash time, time for art, giveaway. And I'll sign it. Now this will go in my art journal. This, now, what I'm going to do is see how dirty that is? Let's clean it off a little. Clean off the grody part. With hand sanitizer. Sanitize it. <laughs> And I'm not going to clean off the, oops, I guess I will because I got ink on it. Yeah. Make sure that it stamps off a good again here because I'm. I didn't realize that there was more hand sanitizer on the front of this. Let's clean it up a little in here. I want to stamp this off again and make sure that I didn't mess it up any with that. I'll stamp it on the back. Make sure that it still stamps. Yeah, it does. All right, I'm happy. Put some, it's hanging upside down. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do now, and I let's get what shavings are on here off. Paper. My carving tools away. What I like to do with this and what works the best is for outdoor paint, but I don't know what I did with it. Craft paint will work. So I'm going to put some craft paint on the back of this just to kind of, and I'm going to use the true navy. Just to kind of, it, it's not too bad on the back. It is a little dirty, but it, I've seen it dirtier. And look, that, that cord got underneath the wheel of my car, my 
chair again. It just belongs there. It thinks it belongs there. Let's put that in the water. Grab a brush here. And I'm going to paint the back of this. And I think I bought this I bought this the other day. Let's get out the black. We'll do black and is this black? Oh that's true navy. And this it just makes it the eraser a little cleaner. Believe it or not. <laughs> And it will eventually wear off, but at least I send it to her clean. And I paint it, and then I dry it, and I'll give it another coat. The black actually works better. We might do black over this. is pretty thin. Just to wait for it. Brush is a little small for this. All right, let's wash that off. I'm going to get my black out. <sighs> you wouldn't believe the mess around me. It can get pretty messy in here. I'm looking for my black. There it is. Is that it? Is it hiding back here? No, that's cobalt blue. this. What is this? I have a black that's open, don't I not? I have a black that's open wherever my white one is too. Here it is. Is that it? Or is that blue again? I'm going to open this. If I can get it. I got to call my scissors. I just cleaned my scissors off the other day, didn't I? Yep, I did. I wish they made these tabs easier to get off. I, they're supposed to be able to pull right off, but I, I always have trouble getting these off. Well, I guess that's good enough. But now my finger's all dirty. <sighs> yep, 
Yuck. <laughs> What'd you do today? Ah, I watched Mary wash the paint off of her fingers. <laughs> All right, I want to get a different brush. Put that eraser over there, the sponge, palette knife. Well, we don't need this one out anymore. Oh, washed my hand off and picked up the painty tab. All right, it's going to be as good as it gets. I want to different brush for this. Let's use this one. It's wider. You can hit this with the dryer and keep it a little away. Get it too hot, it'll melt, but just doing this won't bother it. This just kind of cleans up the eraser a little. There we go. Let's check for it stamping one more time. I need to make a car. That's why I cleaned my hands in the first place. So that cigarette box measures, I think, three and a half by, what? I forgot the measurement. Let me measure the box again. It measures about two and a fourth by four. So I want to cut a little card to fit in here to go with this eraser. So I'm going to stamp this on the card. So what I'm going to do, I don't, yeah, I need that. I want a piece of card stock. Here. I'm reaching for it. A piece of cardstock. 
and I said two and a two and a fourth by four. So I'm gonna cut it two by three and three fourths. I usually put mine this way. Two. That seems awfully thin. No, that's about right. Probably could make it a little wider. Let's cut another one in two and a fourth to see how that works. Maybe two and a eighth. And Maybe about three and right in there. We'll see how that fits. Well, oh, it's going to have to be trimmed just a little bit. Two, two was right. It just didn't seem right. Maybe just a two and a sixteenth. And I might want to trim just a little bit off of the top here. I'd rather trim than have it be too short. And then, I want to see how this stamps off. I want to make sure that I didn't goof it any. It's temping off good. My ink is, I'm needing to refresh my ink. And that's a little crooked, but that's okay for this. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this wax paper upside down since I've been working on it. this up. And let's put it right. Let's do it again. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm just going to ink it up with the lid. If I can fix that, we'll see. I paused halfway down. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. All right, so let's take and color these in. ink on my lid on my ink put that away this way Well, it's probably the last one I get to. What happened to my fine point pens? Here, we'll use this fountain pen. No, it's not permanent. Grr. Where are my pens? My black ones. Yeah. We'll take this out of the package. Is that what I want? No, that's not. Wait a minute while I get a new pen. tired to fool with it. I just want a pen. <laughs> right on here. There we go. Oh, put my channel name. There we go. So, there's the stamp. I think 
think it's pretty clean. Let me get my it it stamps off nicer than it looks here. It stamps off pretty good. Whoops. So I'm pretty happy with it. And here's the box that I covered, and it's drier now. It's got uh, it's satin varnish on it. And we're going to put this in here like this, and we'll put the maybe I'll put the stamp behind it like that, and it'll just fit in there like that. I feel like I need a closure on it. Feel like I need a, a ribbon or something on it, but we're going to leave it like that for now. So, I think said the let's let's take a towel. Let's put my scissors away. Ink pen. Scissors, carving tool. <laughs> I'm laughing that my desk behind me is a mess. It's a mess behind me. It's worse than what it was the other morning. I'm going to put this out here so, you, so it'll look nicer on there. And we did this one. here and this is covered with the fabric and inside of it this was a Crayola box this is a cigarette box and this was a Crayola box took me all night to do it and it's got washi tape in it but it's done let's put a little card in there I'm not going to be as particular about the size of this card I'm just going to cut it off And now they're ready to send. So all I have to do is get them in envelopes, and get them addressed, and take them to the post office. Let's write on this. Um. I don't know what to call this. Altered Crayola box. That's what I'm going to call it. Altered Crayola box with fabric washi. That's what's inside is the fabric washi. Hashtag time for art. November 13th, 2020. Uh, sign it. And the Mary Atier. I spent all night doing this. Everybody else says, Mary, you worked all night on yours. You only gave us a half hour. <laughs> I'm slower. Keisha always says she's a slow crafter, but you know, I'm a pretty slow crafter too. So there they are. And then I am going up. I may put a piece of fabric with this because I want her to have something else. I might cut a piece of uh, maybe Tim Holtz fabric because I've got plenty of it and put with this. And then this will go with this. Or I might just give her another piece of this because I got this too. So it is. 
What time is it? What time is it? Flip. It's almost three o'clock. It's 2.42. Sharon's here. Good night, Donna. Thank you for, for uh, she didn't like our last one, so this is a remake. Yes, it is, Donna. Thank you, Sharon. You love the way it came out, Donna? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Donna. I enjoyed the hop too. Everybody, it's not just me. It's all the all the gals who stream today. They and all of you who come. You know, you guys are you're a big part of this hop. And uh let me zoom in just a little on these boxes cuz they're pretty. I want a thumbnail. there so it's you guys who who come and it's all the other streamers too it's not just me you know i'm just i just the one who uh, invites people <laughs> i get you into it so thank you all for coming and and mrs d oh mrs d d, d do it yourself tv thank you for coming it's good to see you again so this one is going to um, Deborah Brown, and this one is going to Able to Rejoice. Oh, look, I'm just zooming in there. <laughs> so I, it, it's late. I spent too much time on these, but I had a lot of fun doing them. I'm going to say have a really good weekend. Tomorrow's Saturday. I have no idea who's on tomorrow, <laughs> except I know Beth Schuller will be on in the evening. And then on Sunday, Tanya McGuire usually comes on around 12 noon. And then I'll be back Sunday night. So have a really good weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Stay happy. Make some art. Keep your joy. Keep your joy. Thank you, everybody, who stuck, who, who stuck with me. <laughs> have a great weekend. Bye.